Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to another special day of live streaming today. Normally I don't stream during the day, as you follow the channel you're probably aware, but this weekend we're streaming in support of Covenant House Toronto. They're an organization that helps to support homeless, trafficked, and at-risk youth. Uh, they provide services in, in, including uh, shelter and food for those that are um, unhomed, as uh, well as medical services, education training to help people finish their grade 12 uh, and get their high school diploma. Uh, and then also skills and jobs training and placement so that they can try to get themselves back in a supportive way when they as they get older. Um, very supportive of this particular charity, so I'm very happy to be streaming to, with them for a total of 24 hours this weekend. Uh, my throat is a mess. I don't know that I'm going to be talking as much as I normally do today, so that might be a blessing for all of you. Um, unfortunately, I got sick on Friday, and now it's carried right into the weekend, and it's getting worse. Um so we'll see how today goes, but we'll be live today for about 12 hours today, uh, playing three different games. So we're going to be playing Undying, uh, as well as Mind Over Magic and Lego Fortnite today, uh, four hours each game. Hopefully we can uh, raise some good money in support of this wonderful charity. Uh, we've raised uh, so far about $2,000 in support of Covenant House Toronto, so thank you to everyone who might have been on a prior stream who's made a donation to help support. Uh, if you are in a position to help support it yourself and you'd like to make a donation, I have a link that's pinned at the top of the chat that you can use to make that donation. Please don't send it as a super chat uh, because YouTube takes 30% off the top. And then there's a month delay in order for that to actually get to me in order to pass it along. So it's better to send it to them directly uh, and avoid any of those complications. Um, but we're going to start off today with Undying. If you haven't seen this game before, it's pretty cool. Uh, we did check it out briefly. Uh, when I think it was in a demo or early access maybe. Uh, we didn't play it extensively, but uh, they came out with the 1.0 release of the game this month, and so I thought it'd be fun to poke in there and, and try it again, and uh, see what the game has to offer. But uh, thanks so much everyone who's here so far in the chat. Uh, thank you for spending some time and being able to join us uh, relatively early today. Did I get my coffee this morning? I did get my coffee. It's even in an Animaniacs mug. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna... Yeah, like I said, I'm, I may not be talking as much... Uh, I may not be talking as much as we uh, as we progress through. It's a gold. No, it's not a gold play button. That's a silver play button back there. The gold one is when you get to a million. That's a uh, that's that's a bit higher than where I am right now. Um, anyway, let's flip over to uh, Undying here, uh, and we can see what the game has to offer. And that did not work. Where's my game capture? Oh, there it is. This is another one of those games. Unfortunately, when I click off of it, it does uh, it does mute the game. So. You know, apologize. You have to listen to other noises while that's happening. <laughs> There's gonna be every now and then. I have to. I have to log. Uh, I have to like jump out in order to uh, um, check donations and that sort of thing. So uh, unfortunately, it's gonna go silent periodically as I as I do that because I can't. Uh, I can't get the sound to play when I'm not clicked into it. Uh, there was a donation at the end of last night that I missed uh, from Zachary for hundred dollars. So thanks, Zachary. I don't know that you're likely on the stream this morning, but. Appreciate the donation just the same. Welcome to Undying. If you haven't seen this before, the general premise of this is that uh, you're a mother who's been bitten by a zombie and you have a, a young son with you and you're trying to teach him the ropes so that he can survive after you're gone because you're definitely going to die because you were bit by a zombie. It's kind of a dark story, I guess, <laughs> when you think about it. This Animaniacs mug, I bought in New York City uh, from the Warner Brothers store when I was there uh, God, it, it it had to have been 25 or 30 years ago. <laughs> it's been around that long. Somewhere around the year 2000. Uh, okay, story mode. Uh, we're gonna go with new story because we haven't played in a really long time. We gotta start over. Uh, we'll go with normal difficulty, I guess, because I'm pretty good at screwing up. And uh, when I'm trying to focus on stream at the same time... Difficult mode would probably just be a hot mess, and I don't know how entertaining that would be. Grim story, but interesting. Yeah, it is. It's an interesting take on a zombie game. Like, and you know, there, there's so many it's different zombie games out there. But months since the outbreak first hit, oh, I gotta hit the button. <laughs> I was like, I was waiting for it to auto continue, but it didn't. But it's feel like a lifetime. In order to keep as many people safe as possible, the military have turned subway stations into refugee camps. They plan to extract each camp until they have extracted every living person in the infected area. 
today, our group is being extracted. Mom, where are we going? Somewhere safe, Cody. Will Dad be there? <sighs> I hope so. At that moment, all I could think of was, I have to get home. There, that should fix it for now. When we find time, we'll need to fix the others. I'm scared. <laughs> Mom, I'm scared. Those monsters. Oh, Bao Bay, we're safe now, and Mama's here to look after you, okay? Uh. <laughs> Arg. Are you okay? Mom, your arm! It, it's nothing. Just a scratch, that's all. Scratch made by teeth as it took a chomp on me. It was horrible. Oh, sorry. Adding a little. Uh, why don't we take our mind off things? Let's see uh, what we can find around the house, okay? Okay. Okay. Good boy, let's go. Must be sleeping through the intro. I didn't sleep through the intro. What you talking about? <clears throat> yeah, another depressing game. Yeah, this one is a little depressing. <laughs> so this is a, a very, like I said, a very different take on a, on a zombie survival game because we have to try to survive and help our boy survive when we're gone. So the idea is that in the process of going through all the normal survival steps, we're also teaching Cody. And so Cody learns skills from us that will help him survive when we're gone. Evacuation wish is largely completed. Shh, the government is still planning the next extraction. Shh, shh. Extraction has clearly failed. Clearly. Uh, hold to open. Is that Chinese food? Ah, uh, crackers and water. All right. I really wanted some Chinese. <laughs> Hope you ate this morning. No, no time for eating. And yes, I am sick today. My, uh, sorry, I probably will not be talking quite as much as I normally do because my, my throat's a mess. Uh, the warm coffee's helping a little bit, but, uh, I may not be talking quite as much. Darcy Lynn, uh, won't let me donate from the States. Yeah, I, we, we're, I'm having a real problem. <laughs> So previously they had um, they had PayPal as an option for payment for donations, and they redid their entire website. They rebuilt the whole thing, uh, and so they haven't set up for credit cards. But PayPal doesn't seem to be an option. I, I did uh, I did email my contact um, at Covenant House Toronto to see if there's anything they could do, but it's a weekend, so they probably haven't even seen the email because they're in administrative, so they, they wouldn't be like working on a, on the weekend. Um, so I don't, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get it resolved, unfortunately, this weekend. So it, it is causing some challenges and probably has a, a lot to do with where we're at from a donation perspective, but. <clears throat> Sound like you're using your voice and still do the shh sound here. <laughs> uh, select sort, quit, all right, quit. Oh, what we got here? We have to fix the kitchen if we don't want to starve. Check the bag. Wait, that's my bag. 
Um, Cody pick or pick? Okay, so got Cody to pick it up. I guess he's got a separate backpack? Oh no, we share a bag. That's interesting. Uh, backpack upgrade. Uh, backpack expansion adds three knapsack squares. Reinforced backpack. Increase the si uh, stack upper limit of a single grid. Ergonomics. Increase the movement speed by 1% for each space in the backpack. Not upgraded. We upgrade with wood and shabby clothes, apparently. Broken food bench. Cooking table. This needs to be repaired before we can use it. We need wood and scraps to, fare, to repair this thing. Oh my goodness. So, I don't normally stream during the daytime, so I apologize for any noise that you guys might pick up in the background, like dogs barking and kids and all that kind of stuff. It just is what it is. It's normal, normal uh, household sound effects and stuff, but um, when I stream at night, it's not normally a thing. Uh, we'll get Cody to pick up as much as we can, because we need to teach him how to do stuff. So we can... We can fix the faucet that's in here, so I guess we can get running water. For as long as it's available, I guess. Cody picked that too. Learn to pick things up, kid. You'll be my little slave. Do my bidding. Storage box. There we go. I'm gonna keep the water and the crackers on me, because I don't know how often we have to eat. Meds are all used up. We need to replenish them as soon as possible. Well, we just started, lady. Cut me some slack. Cody picked that up. You can't do that yet. Okay, hold the open. Oh. Teach Cody. Come check this out. This is how you loot, buddy. Wooden scraps. Pick that up. Mom, it's Dad's car. Uh, what happened to it? Looks like looters banged it up, Jacob. Uh, or sorry, Jacob would have had a heart attack seeing this. I wonder if it still runs. Rummage. Let's try that again. Rummage. Any luck, Mom? Well, sort of, but not really. It runs, but just barely. I wouldn't drive it more than a couple of miles. But it's not even the car. We're in the house. If we fix it up, we might be able to drive it further. Oh, here it is. I see what it is. It's the car in the garage here. <laughs> I thought we were looking at the repair bench. I was like, wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense. There's a car here. It's fine. Mr. McBaldspot with the five gifted memberships. Thanks, Mr. McBaldspot. Appreciate that. <clears throat> upgrade the bench. Tool upgrade available. Need a first level bench tool. So we need five wood and ten scrap, I guess, to make the bench. Oh, and then we got all this stuff we can do. Baseball bat. Crowbar. I can make a crowbar. That's interesting. I think we would just find a crowbar, but... Charcoal. We got fishing bait and stuff. Okay. So, our bench is not even level one yet, because, you know, it's junk. Celebrating my birthday by gifting memberships. Well, thank you, Mr. Big Bald Spot, and thank you for the 50 months of support. That is amazing. 50 month memberships. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Appreciate it. Oh, let's go upstairs. Let's see what's up here. Wait, did I check in the sink here? There's a little dot. Maybe that's just showing the, uh, the sink we can fix. Up we go. <clears throat> Have you become Mr. McBald Patch? <laughs> Small Buddhist Ryan Jacob brought, uh, bought for me. I guess he bought it to make me feel more comfortable in America. Truth be told, I don't think I've seen one of these uh, in a house back in China. Oh, that's funny. Continue. Shrine carries memories of the family. You can use it to manually save your progress. Oh, okay, good. Let's save now. Confirm. Uh, here, Cody open. Get the kid to do as much as I can. Look, it's a bunch of wood. That's weird. Broken med tables. That's, uh, that's broken too. Man, there's, there's like nothing that's repaired in this house. What did they do to this place before they left? Like, to hell if we let looters have our stuff. We're smashing everything. <clears throat> An old letter. Handling, today is your wedding day. We're sorry we couldn't be there. It's too far and we can't travel with our health issues. We wish you happiness and good wealth. Don't worry about us. Baba Mama. 
1982. Uh, an old letter from my parents. Alright. Yeah, here, Cody, open this thing. Look, a bunch of canned meat. That's fun. Another bathroom with a broken sink. This family was unfortunately either living in squalor and that not, they didn't have anything, including like running water or anything in their home, or they wrecked everything before they left in order to stop looters. Mmm, <clears throat> canned meat. Delish. More scraps. I might actually have enough to fix something now, but... I'm thinking I probably want to work on the workbench first, because that'll let me make a weapon. Looks like everything, uh, is there anywhere we haven't checked yet? What about the basement? Checked out the backyard, but the door was locked. Hmm, I guess we lost the key. We may have calmed down out front. Why don't we check out the neighborhood and see if we can find something to open the back door? Okay. Okay. Okay, Mom. Search the neighborhood for supplies. Keep an eye out for anything useful you might need at home. This is where I get to let out my inner pack rat. Uh, oh, I can hold his hand. <laughs> I forgot about that. Go to come check this out. Can you teach me this bomb? I just did. Oh, jerk. So he opens things, but he doesn't pick them up. I'm trying to like get him to do that. Locked suitcase. We need a crowbar for that. Here, Cody, you get that again. Ah, oh, Mom, scraps of wood. Where's our bag? So we've got nine scraps, or sorry, 14 scraps and eight wood. Definitely enough to repair something. We have no meds, no meds at all. Uh, Cody picked that up. Come on, kid. Is Nate joining you in Lego Fortnite? And if so, do you plan on crushing him with a boulder? <laughs> now, Nate has his kids this weekend, so, uh, scrap pile. Stealth? Did I hit a stealth button? Oh, I guess I did. Shift is for stealth. That's fun. Come here, kid. I'm gonna be stealthy. Cody needs to learn the skill of tactic sneak. How do I teach him that? I'm holding his hand and I'm stealthing, but he's not stealthing. Look here, kid. Open that, Cody. Is somebody there? Oh, our neighbors are here. Funny, all those dead zombies and they didn't have anything on them. Oop. Keys. Lockpicks? Nice. All these people, are they no longer people? That's right. Oh, Bao Bay. I know it's a lot to take in. I wish they didn't have to see this. He doesn't have to see it. He doesn't have any eyes. The poor kid is like blind. He was born without eyes. Might be a blessing in this world. What's that? Huh? Man, he was only a lockpick. What does that do? He used to unlock doors without a key. He used it to get in the backyard. I'm gonna go home and try it out. Okay, poor Cody. No child should see the world like this. It's a darn good thing he was born without eyes. <coughs> uh, is Nate joining you to play LEGO Fortnite? No, he's got the kids this weekend, so it'll just be me. Playing a little solo. He did start another g game of Fortnite with uh, his crew anyway, so... No harm in uh, playing a little solo. Not often managed to catch a live stream. Nice to see. Wish I could catch the Lego one, but it ends uh, the same time my alarm to get up for work does. Oh, that's a shame. But welcome. Glad you're able to join the early stream. Is somebody there? Old photo. Back says Mary's 12th birthday. Family photo. They seemed happy. They're not anymore. I'm not knocking yet, people. Oops. I made noise. Oh, 
I read your comment twice? Did I? <laughs> Did I already answer that? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little... A little fried. Okay, well we got the lockpick we needed. Uh, we got some more scraps and stuff too. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any of the undead. Oh, cats are active. Old newspaper, unrecognizable. The incident happened in the early hours of night on Saturday when a woman on the night shift was suddenly attacked by an unidentified person on her way home. According to the woman, the assailant looked sickly and was acting inhumane. According to information provided by the medical examiner, the unidentified person died of heart failure during the violence. August 12, 1991, post-social section. So the early 90s is when this happened. This we can't hop the fence. All right, let's go. Try oh, come on, kid. Keep up with me. No, no dawdling. No poking around. Hey, Brittany, how you doing? Okay, uh, I feel like we should fix the workbench here first. So, Anling. Oh, my name's Anling. <laughs> go me. Cody still needs to learn new skill repair facilities. How do I teach him again? Hold on a second. I'm just going to quickly check the controls and see what it costs him. <gasps> I could change how I look. Oh, baby. And we're going Santa. What about clothing? <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Uh, we're going to have her wear her normal clothes. Uh, and on her head, she'll wear the Santa hat. And then for Cody, we totally want him wearing the bear suit. Oh, he doesn't have a bear suit. He's got like a little, a uh, little dinosaur suit. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, that that's too cute and also disturbing. Uh, all right, settings, key config. I'm gonna see the one that we used to train Cody. I think it's the space. Yeah, call Cody to study space. Man, Cody is the middle button. So, I think there's only certain instances where I can call Cody though. It might have to give me a prompt in order to do it. I can't seem to teach him how to do this. Oh, there we go. Have a look, Cody. Watch what I'm doing. Yes. Please dress them in funny costumes so this game breaks my heart a little less. <laughs> I've learned something new. Good job, Cody. Great, let's see you try it out. Get to work, kid. Uh, need Cody's help? Then you can enter Cody's skills to unlock... Er, Enter Cody's skills to unlock his skills. Oh. Ah, alright. Uh, basic skills, food bench, med bench. Two med benches. Oh, recycling bench. And a build. So, tool bench. What can help with crafting at the tool bench? What learns to craft three times at the tool bench? Okay, he gets the skill by doing it three times, I guess. He's got survival skills. He's already learned how to discover things. Gather. Cody can collect plants, timber from trees, can gather water, dismantle parts from scavengerable broken down cars. Oh, look, he's an auto mechanic. Sort of. Collect like gasoline from broken down cars. He's learning all the good stuff that kids should learn these days. <laughs> uh, nothing for combat, because we haven't had any combat yet, obviously. It's got 16 experience of this one in that. Okay. Looks interesting. Uh, operate. Wait, there's an op option to downgrade. I wonder why I would down want to downgrade it. Useful tool can be used as a weapon and used to pry open objects. I feel like... I mean, the baseball bat's good. The crowbar can be used as both a tool and a weapon, so I think I'll make that first. We'll select that. Cody can't build it yet, so handling will do it. We'll get Cody to learn. Darcy Lim with the super chat. Seriously, what monster created this game? It's so sad. <laughs> Darcy Lim, thanks for the super chat. Yeah, it's definitely a dark story. I'll give you that. 
I think it's really interesting, though. Like, it's, um... It is very different from a lot of games that I play, and where you're normally the main protagonist and it's all about you. In this case, it's all about the kid. It's like trying to set them up to be good. I think it's kind of... It's a really neat take on a, on a survival game. Um, this is the recycling bench. This needs to be repaired before we can use it, so we need planks and metal plates, which I haven't gotten yet. Can disassemble scrap. Um, what can I put in here that I don't need right now? Store some water and some canned food, I guess. Oh no, we're out of meds. You're still out of meds, lady. Can't fix that yet. Cooking bench? This I can fix. Okay, let's get Anling to do it and we'll teach Cody again. So at least we can, we can craft things and we can make food now. Such as it is. Uh, it's not guaranteed to, delish, del uh, to be delicious, but it will last. Ingredient that can be used to make food. Oh, I see. We just put the food together in, like, basic meal, I guess, we just made. Times three. Okay. So, material required. Starch, crackers, canned meat. Oh, that's just a bag of straight starch? That's, mmm, delish. Basic meal plus three. All right, I guess we'll make that. Wait, confirm. And Ling will teach Cody how to cook with horrible ingredients. Here you go, kid. Now you can make garbage food also. <laughs> Bing. All right, we've got food. It's going to take a lot of food because we're feeding two of us in this game. What about water? Okay, no water there. Let's get in the backyard if we can. The food in the fridge. Hopefully it'll keep. Uh, hold to unlock. We'll teach Cody while we're doing it. Here, kid, this is how you pick a lock. Every kid needs to know how to do that. How do you see with no eyes? It's an interesting art style, right? It's so that the horrible the kid doesn't have to see the horribleness. Look, a bunch of bandages. Sweet. Let's see what else is in the yard. Maybe there's like more scraps and stuff we can get here. You too could become a home cook, yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay, so there's planter back here. We can plant stuff. Oh my goodness, a zombie! Cody, stay back! Mom, I'm scared! Don't be afraid. Luckily it's stuck in a trap. Just stay back. Mama will deal with it. Okay. Another kid. Check. Oh, oh! They gave me a bat. Sweet. Good thing I didn't craft one. Um, all right, we'll pick up the bat. You can now equip it. Check, check bag. How do I equip it? Aside. Oh, endling equipped. There we go. All right. Control the target lock. Tab to switch targets. Uh, control. Hold the aim. Smoked it! Got to tell Cody to learn. Hopefully you learn from that. Sob. Look at me, you're safe. You're safe. It's okay. You're safe now. Mama took care of it. I smashed that horrible man who was breaking into our yard with the police badge. You can't trust him at all. <laughs> Cody? Cody? Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Mama's always watching out, but this is going to be a very dark and sad tale, I think. Um, here, Cody, come come loot the body. Come here, kid. Hey, we have a bear trap now. Uh, now there's electricity in the house, so there's no need to use the generator. But I guess at some point we're going to lose power, so we've got a generator. A slingshot? Cody picked that sucker. Oh, Mom, I'm scared. Shut up, kid. Come here. Oh, I gotta comfort him. <laughs> I'm a horrible mother. I didn't comfort my child. <laughs> You're okay, kid. Everything's fine. You're good. Just ignore the blood all over mama. Alright, kid. Pick this up. So 
slingshot unlocked in the item thing or whatever. So, can I equip that to Cody? Yeah, Cody equip. There we go. Damn, there's almost no food. Med, her meds now. Open. Door's probably blocked again. Jacob always left this place. What? Always left it something or other. There, the blood goes into the doorway. That's weird. Alright. We have a lockpick. Can we just open it? Tough it up, kid, if you want to survive. That's right. It's a hard life out here in zombie land. Cody? I don't think there'll be anything on TV. Look. Shh, Mom, look. Mm -hmm. Huh? Shh, shh, emergency broadcast station. Shh. Extraction number C-52 has failed. All surviving personnel, prepare for emergency extraction. Sh I repeat, prepare for emergency extraction. Emergency extraction? There's another way we can get to safety? We can go to the safe place? Where? When? Where's this extraction? Sh emergency broadcast station. Extraction number C-52 has failed. Oh, it's a repeated message. Dang, it's on a loop. Need to find out when and where the extraction's happening. I know. To head back to the subway. The refugee camp must have planned somewhere. Good job, Cody. Cody, you are amazing. Uh, what did I do? <laughs> You're amazing, kid. You did what all kids do and tried to watch TV. Uh, uh, I wonder if I can repair this bat that I have. Good job, kid. I knew your TV watching would turn out to be useful someday. Totally didn't tell you it was a complete waste of your time. Okay, let's, uh, let's operate this. Baseball bat. This is, I guess this is only for crafting. I can't actually repair stuff here, it looks like. Unless there's an option here to repair it? No, I can only unequip it. Okay. All right, kid. Do we have to sleep in this game? I wonder if we have to sleep. Enter the world or to the street? Uh, we're gonna go back to the street again. That's right, Static Fox. Skirch. Okay, we can, own this. We can open this now. Okay, kid, this is how you break and enter. And meat. Sweet. Look at gasoline. Here, kid, this is how you this is how you steal someone else's gas. Congratulations, kid. Now you too can be a thief. Hmm, I think I get it. So for commands for him, I can do stay and assist, follow and assist, follow or stay. Let's do follow and assist. Stay close, Cody. Hey, he listens real well. Teach him how to get gas again. Cody, come check this out. This is how you thief. This is how you be a thief. When Anling's fatigue rises, she enters a weak state. If she remains in the state too long, she'll turn. To remain in control, she must go home and rest. Well, what's happening to me? I feel this feeling. It's like something's taking over me. I'm so tired. I can't hold it back. I need to rest. I can't. I can't take this take over me. Hey, Brandon. Oh, ew. I'm getting zombified. Come on, kid. Come hold your zombie mom's hand. I'm hungry. So willpower can fight the infection. I think the idea is that you're you're definitely going to turn. It's just a question of time. So you can resist it up to a certain point, and then you're toast. How do I sleep, though? There's a bed right here, and I can't sleep in it. Do I gotta put the kid to bed? Oh, this is probably my room. There we go, sleep. So sleepy, I'll lose 10 food and 10 water, and we'll rest until 8 o'clock in the morning the next day. 
Quiet night, no zombies in sight. After some sleep, Anling and Cody's injuries were on the mend. With the heating on, Cody got better. Oh, I didn't know Cody wasn't feeling good. Kid wants food and water. Well, we've got... We've got water on us. Did she drink the whole thing? Okay, no, only one. That's good. Okay, so they're both a little hydrated. Let's go downstairs and have one of those meals we made. Actually, I guess I'll have to have two of them, because I have one for me and one for him. Yeah, shut up, kid. Come on. Put your dinosaur head in the fridge. All right, kid, this is how you eat. Take out two of them. Put the other one in there. There's almost no water now. Handling use and Cody use. So I don't know if, uh, like, it only shows the hunger meter for her. I wonder if that's just the cumulative team one. If I make Anling just eat, I wonder if that would suffice. I should try not feeding him for a while just to see what happens. <laughs> Do you become a hungry little dinosaur? Or are you just faking it? Um, I don't have any of the stuff I need to repair that yet. What, we, what else can I make in here? I can make planks and cloth strips. I haven't found any shabby clothes yet, though. Uh, okay. The planks I know I needed for, to fix this thing in here, right? It was, what was it, planks and... No, oh, planks and metal plates. Metal plates I haven't found at all. Planks for the memories, kid. Let's try cooking with this canned food. No, oh, they, they automatically stack. Can I put them in two different spots? No. Okay. I can make a basic meal with canned food, but I wonder what that does to... Oh, it gives it plus 30? Remove. Remove. What does the canned food itself give me? Plus 20. So if I cook it, it gives me plus 30. So it makes it does make it slightly better, so that's that's something. Tried something like something up about this game, and basically only stuff about the Lord of the Rings came up. <laughs> and when you put in undying, that's funny. Just to show you that sometimes it the like the the name choice you make for the game you're producing is sort of important. Okay, over here's the way out of the neighborhood, so we don't want to go that way just yet. We're going to continue looting the neighborhood. Come on, kid. Keep up already. Look, Mom's dying over here and I can outrun you. What's wrong with you? Alright, we got another zombie. I'm going to have to climb up there to get him. Alright, tell you what, kid. Uh, you stay and assist. Broken bridge part. Hold to fix. I got, oh, I need one plank to fix that. Okay, we can make a plank. It's okay, kid. Let's go. We'll go make a plank and fix that thing. this. Select. And then we'll make it and we'll teach Cody. This is so, yeah, it is a very sad game. <laughs> but not as sad as the real life kids who are on the street right now. And you can help support those children by making a donation to Covenant House Toronto who supports homeless, traffic, and at-risk youth. You can do make a donation using a link that's in the top of the chat. Thanks to everyone who's done so already. Bam. Another segue. <laughs> It is a great cause, but I know that people have been having trouble making donations, unfortunately, because uh, it only accepts credit card, and apparently cards that aren't Canadian it's having trouble with. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a challenge. Alright, kid, you wait here. You wait here and s slingshot this sucker. Stay and assist. Stay... 
Yeah, stay in assist. And I'm gonna fix this. Teach Cody how to fix the chair. Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh god, kid! Oh, Cody, no! Kid, follow and assist. Okay, I haven't mastered combat in this game, all right? <laughs> Cody's like, he's got problems now. Cody, pick that up. I'll focus, I'll focus on the zombies. Okay, they're stuck in there at least. Oh, oh, I can smash the fence down. That's, that's pro oh, I was gonna say that's a bad idea, but I'd already clicked. Okay, uh, we got problems. Mom, I'm scared. All right, kid. Mom, you're bleeding. It's nothing good. It's just a scratch. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood. It's fine. Your mom is fine. Don't worry, please. Uh, it's just a scratch. Just a scratch. Does it hurt? Of course it hurts. I'm bleeding. What do you think, kid? Where's my bandages? Handling use. I should probably bandage up Cody since I got him hurt, too. <laughs> uh, Cody is. Oh, here, look, have I got to comfort the kid again? Uh, hold Cody. Come here. Comfort Cody. You're okay, kid. They're just horrible, nasty, evil coppers. But if we beat them down... The kid's like, I'm good, Mom. I just got lacerated by a zombie. Everything's fine. You failed to protect me. Good job, Mother. Teach the kid how to break and enter again. Cody's already learning the skill. Discovery unlock. Okay. So, do I not need to teach him anymore? Okay, I guess I can't... I can't climb over these things and I can't smash them the way I could that fallen fence gate thing. Let's just check out what's up here. You get that, Cody. I'll get this. Can't yeah, right now, Mama. Busy handgun bullets. Sweet. Pick up the note. Whoever sees this, please find my Tommy. Maybe he's in a better place now, just like Kelly. My arm hurts. Kelly bit it when she went crazy. I have to be strong till Tommy comes back. Jason. A note from the neighbors. All right, come on, kid. Let's go. There's no war crimes in the apocalypse. Yeah, well, there's nobody that can uphold the uphold the law, so... Crime is just the new survival. Looks like we can get water from the fountain. That sounds delish. Hold to fetch water. Here, kid, this is how you steal water from a fountain. Need one empty bottle. Oh, I didn't realize I had bottles that were empty. Oh, that looks delicious. Okay, well that's good. The bottles are use reusable. As we drink the water, we get the bottle back, it seems. Actually, let's drink another one and we'll... I'm gonna try not feeding the kid for a bit. And we'll see... If he, like, tells me he needs something. Or if we're just like a shared pool of whatever. Decaying fat. Oh, it's only got so much water in it, too. Oh, come on, kid. So that's how you put water in a bottle. I was raised not knowing anything. <laughs> Old newspaper. Alan from the apartment next door heard a noise in the hallway. At first he thought someone was moving furniture, but then the noises became more and more severe and were not stopping. It sounded like someone was frantically smashing stuff, flower pots, just everything. And then there was this sound, like the roar of a wild animal. I was so scared. 
Police initially suspected that the deceased had entered the, a highly aggressive state under the influence of a drug, and further information for the medical examiner was needed. That's from 1992. So it took a couple years for this whole thing to fall apart. That first article we saw was from 1991. Here, kid, here's how you steal gas from your neighbors. Just come on, kid. Follow and assist me. <laughs> the kid's studying. Oh, that's how you smash and break things. <clears throat> Here's a 50 for your cause. Hope it uh, helps achieve the goal. Thank you for the donation, RP. Much appreciated. Well, any support is fantastic. I used a U.S. credit card to donate. Just had to balance privacy with information required for my credit card to know it was me. Just had to balance privacy with information required for my credit card to know it was me. Oh, okay. Super confused, but all right. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Uh, all right, let's go talk to the neighbors and see what their deal is. Are you still alive in here? I mean, they're talking, so. Anybody there? Huh? It's me, Mary. Can you give me some water? I'm dying of thirst. Oh, poor girl. Just wait a moment. Let me check. Thank you. Should I really give her water? I, maybe she might give me something. Uh, how long has it been since she last ate? Let's give her water. Thank you, Annie. You're welcome. Why are you here all alone? Yes, Mom and Dad went out to look for food a few days ago. They sealed the door from the outside and told me they would be back soon. Oh, no, it's a kid. At least that's what I thought. Well, you're being very brave, Mary. I'm sure your parents will be back soon. I'll come back to see you again. If you need anything else, just let me know. Thank you. There's still some food. There was no water coming out of the pipe a few days ago, so I was thirsty for a long time. Fortunately, you heard my voice. I think the water will be enough for me to drink for a while. When Mom and Dad come back, I think everything will be alright. I think your Mom and Dad are dead, kid. It'll be alright. I have to go. I'm trying to keep busy. It makes the time go faster. Thank you, Annie. Man, this is a dark, dark story. I don't know if this helps you. Oh, got tomato seeds. Let's go plant some tomatoes. Yeah, they'll be back as zombies, if I didn't already crush their skulls. <laughs> I don't think I got empty bottles out of that. Either, did I? Oh, I gave her water, but my water didn't go down. That's interesting. Sweet. I got to give her stuff and not lose anything at the same time. Twenty hours of flights and airports on the way home. Oh, that's a long day, man. Twenty hours. Yikes. Don't envy you that. Let's go in the yard and try planting these tomato seeds. Here, kid. Here's how you shove a seed in the dirt. Oh, I need a shovel for this? Why? I could just shove the seed in. Tilling the soil, my butt. Jacob never got around to teaching Cody to shoot the slingshot. He, uh, he built the targets and everything. It's probably a good idea to, for Cody to learn to protect himself. I should get him to practice. Cody, hey, Cody you want to do some target practice? Really? Can I? Call Cody to attack. Get it, kid. Good job, Cody. Good job, Cody. You can use those skills to perform murder now. Oh no, it's broken. Do you think Dad will get mad? He spent so long making it. Don't worry. He will fix it. This will be our little secret. Uh, Hold the fix. We're going to teach Cody how to fix the thing. There you go, kid. Cody's already learned the skill assist with repairs facilities. That's good. Okay, kid. Get it. Smoke that thing. Oh, he's using up all his ammo. Strongest shot gets the slingshot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a water collector. 
I don't know why I need all the metal parts for that. It's just a bucket, but all right. So that'll be useful, I guess, when the when the water's not flowing anymore out of the pipes. Trying to fix the slingshot, I guess? I guess. I don't know how to fix things in this. Can we made it the tool bench after Cody's learned the craft slingshot skill. Cody used to use this to, to, to target cans. He might find it useful. I don't know if I can fix the... the um... Oh, he does have food and water stats, but his are just question marks. I never really know how he's doing exactly. That's interesting. Alright, come on kids, bedtime. What time is it? Yeah, it's like 8 o'clock or something. Should get a good 12 hour sleep, should be good. I should probably see how long she can be awake for before she starts to get nasty. Nasty. Maybe we'll do that. So the crafting bench, I wonder... So I tried to see if I could repair here. But it doesn't look like it can. It looks like it's all like new crafting. I can't even make a slingshot. I can upgrade again if I make planks to a level 2. An efficiency upgrade if I get these other things. I only have enough wood to make one plank though, so that's not going to be terribly useful. So I guess we'll hold on to that for now. Uh, I'm going to go eat something before we go to sleep. And I should probably put some stuff away to keep my inventory open, too, while I'm at it. Storage. Put the seeds in here. I'll keep the water on me. Got a lot of scrap. I'm, I'm curious to see whether I can craft with stuff that's in storage, or whether it uh, keeps it separate. Bolts are no good without a gun, so I can stay there. I'll keep the food in the kitchen, I guess. Meds I should probably have on me. Oh, I want to make water. Let's try, try cooking the water, make clean water. Uh, water. Confirm, Anling, and we'll teach Cody how to boil water. <laughs> Congrats, kid. Now you can boil water. You're a pro at cooking. He's like, hmm, I think I get it. Applying heat to water makes it boil. Wow, my mind is blown. Oh, those are empty bottles. I thought they were clean. I thought it was clean water. Okay, um... Endling use. She's well fed. And she'll be fed even better when she eats her son. Let's go to bed. Wait, why did it load? Oh, sorry. Sleep! There we go. Repairs on the recycling bench. Ah, got it. Okay, okay. It was a quiet night, no zombies in sight. After some sleep, Andling and Cody's injuries were on the mend. The heating on Cody got better. Okay, good. So they got a little more health. Oh, kid's hungry again. Uh, can't you munch on some cra- oh, no, I was gonna say, can't you munch on crackers? But I kinda cooked the crackers. I think I might have wasted some materials when I was cooking. I still haven't found metal plates. I wonder where I get those. Come here, kid. Um, uh, we cook with just two ingredients, so that make it better still. Operate. Okay, add, add. That gives me plus thirty. Can I eat the starch directly anyway? No. Just an ingredient, though. So this gives me plus twenty. What if I just? Cook one of the food. Oh, it's only 80% of a basic meal. Okay. So adding starch to it will make it a proper meal. I can make two proper meals. I can make three proper meals that way. With using only two of the meat. So that's good. I think I probably wasted some materials when I crafted before. Here, 
like it. This is how you cook horrible food again. Hey, Kathleen. Time to sit in a human bathroom with your toddler and try to help her. Oh, no. Sorry to hear you're sick. Being sick sucks. Um, all right, let's, let's eat up, I guess. Put the other one in the fridge for now. We'll have to get more water when we're out. All right, kid. I gotta figure out how to get ammo for this kid's slingshot, too. So, we're gonna have to go out to the world, I think, because I don't have access to anything here. We'll go to the city. Go to city, it'll cost 15 minutes and one gasoline. If we fast travel with gasoline. Not clear how that works. Maybe it less time if you fast travel with gas? Looks like things have calmed down quite a bit after the earthquake. Those things are still lingering though. Let's carefully head to the subway. Enter stealth to make it harder for enemies to notice you. I can't do that yet. Shut up, kid. Follow me. So you can't you can't search things when you're stealthing. What's this mom can you teach me, but I already taught you, stupid kid. You know how to loot. Oh, metal plates and parts, nice. Shoot. Ah. I really wish she could block. <laughs> that would be great. I think I, did I steal his wallet? No, he had metal scraps on him. Check Cody. Cody's good. You're fine, kid? You're good? Everything good? Okay, I'm not fine. I hurt myself. You got me back up to 86. Shabby clothes. First of those we found. Cody learns a new skill, Tactic Sneak. Really? Because it doesn't look like he did. He's still walking around like a lame little dinosaur. Wait, here, Cody, can you get gas? Can't do that yet. Right. He can't crouch. Uh, never did a thing other than lay down and eat food his entire life. <laughs> He's been ruined by the YouTubes. Except that this is, uh, this is in the 90s, so I guess he didn't have that yet. He was ruined by cartoons. Mm, starch in the recycling. That's definitely going to be good food. What's the condition of my bat in? I've only got probably a few more wax with that thing. More metal plates. That's good. We got here. Uh oh, uh oh, come on, kid. Oh, stop whining about water. And move it, kid. There. Okay, so you definitely have to feed and water your kid. <laughs> Turns out. Looks <clears throat> like we can start a zombie horde if we use this megaphone. It's extremely unstable, though, so it can only be used for a few hours at a time. Try not to attract too many, though, otherwise you might be digging your own grave. Megaphone manual. That's weird. Uh oh. Come on, kid! Move it! That almost spotted me! Who needs to learn new skill, tactic, sneak? How do I get him to learn that if he won't just learn it on his own? Combat XP plus two. He got XP and I didn't he didn't even do anything. Come on, kid. Bob, it hurts. What hurts? The, the zombie didn't even touch him. The zombie hit me. It's all my fault. I should have taken care of you better. What should I do? Jacob, I can release your help right now. Cody, be strong. Mum will treat you as soon as you can, okay? Just hang in there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's 
It's hard when I have to worry about the kid doing stuff. He's not exactly assisting me either, even though he's got that slingshot. He's just watching me get smacked. Little jerk. Here, Cody, you do it. Save me the effort. Check this out, scraps. Maybe I have to hold the kids. I tried that. He doesn't learn. He just walks along beside me. I can't teach him with a space bar. I wonder if uh, there might actually be something in Cody's skills that we like. So survival, you would think sneaking would be in survival, right? Fish and hunt, gather, discover, farm, travel. Travel shortcut. Traveling between locations will consume half the time. The skill will be open in the full version. Wait, this is the full version. This is the full version of the game. <laughs> what? Stress, shoot, ammo. Cody can equip all variety of animal projectiles. Cody reloads faster. I thought this was the full version of the game. I'm confused now. All right, let's go in here. I'm sure, there won't be any zombies inside. Coded box. Oh, we don't know the code, so yeah, you get that kid. Oh, sure, you can shoot a slingshot at a hunk of wood, but you can't you can't shoot a slingshot at a zombie. Pick up the junk, kid. Stop being so useless. Hey, Wang. Thanks for looking after the store for me on such short notice. You're a lifesaver. For your troubles, I left you a little something in the safe as a little gift. Password 383. Hope this... Uh, Alright. Do that. Open it up, Cody. What's in there? Never mind, he likes to murder planks. Yeah, he shoots now, but only on inanimate things, I guess. Oh, first aid and can't meet. Nice. I'm assuming it's probably a bad thing if we let the kid die, so we'll have to heal him at some point. Uh, Wrestling with a 35 month member message. Sneak was in his skill tree, was it? Nope, oh, got charcoal in there. Charcoal's good for filtering. Come here, kid. Well, let's take a peek at the skill tree again. Kind of missed it. This is all stress. Uh, it's got to be in survival, right? Search, loot, herb. Plants, trees. This is all gathering. Hunting, fishing, farming, traveling. Kadeen with a gift of membership. Thanks, Kadeen. Appreciate that. For science, let the kid die. Does game end? I'm sure it does because the uh, the whole point is to keep the kid alive. Cody can sneak. Oh, there we go. Spend 100 EXP to comprehend an advanced skill. How do I? I don't understand how to unlock these though. Let's track that. I don't understand what it takes to do it. Tactic sneak. Oh, four locations unlocked. So I guess if I get four locations, then he just learns how to sneak just based on that. Interesting. <clears throat> I think we might have zombie fiends down here a little bit. Oh, oh, come on, kid, run! The bat broke! Run! Oh, we're doomed! Oh, sorry, kid! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to heal Cody. <laughs> he didn't run fast enough. Maybe he should have taken his hand. He would have gone faster. <laughs> that might have been a thing to do. Uh, it's really hard to play this and take care of the kid at the same time. My god. Imagine this in real life. That'd be brutal. 
All right, well, so much for that. Uh, let's use this on Cody. Oh, no, we're out of meds. Well, I, I healed him. Maybe I should have fixed myself. Tell you what, kid, you stay here. Stay and assist. You wait there. Mama's gonna do some slaughtering. Oh, let's see. What if Mama could actually hit something? Power swing's pretty good, but it takes a long time to power it up. Make sure it's empty down here before I call the kid. All right, kid, come loot, come loot with me. Let's go, kid. We gotta steal things. Empty. Oh, why am I checking Cody again? He's fine. Oh, we got that stuff that's in the truck. You keep saying, Mom, can you teach me? But he already knows how to loot things. Oh, I see. If we use the megaphone, it'll lure them down here. So I can lure zombies away from other areas. Here, kid. Siphon the gas out of here. Can't do that yet. Oh, really? He's learning, yeah, he's learning all kinds of great life lessons. <laughs> how to murder, how to break in and enter, how to siphon people's gas. Next we'll learn how to create a shiv, Cody. You'll need that when you're in prison. I don't want to go in that way yet. I'm sure there's zombies in there. Turn it on, then sneak away. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Hiding spot. Hide Cody. Get in there, kid. Take cover. Okay, I tell you what. You stay there. Mom will come back in three to four years. <laughs> come on, Cody. We gotta go home. It's getting dark. Need to go rest. Back to the home we go. What an adventure. Could we have enough to fix this now? Oh, I was short one metal plate. I gotta make a new bat, but... I don't want to break the crowbar by fighting with it too much, because then I won't have it. Um, We can upgrade the bench. I just need to make the two planks, I guess. Let's do that. Oh, I should have told them to make multiple doses. I feel like I broke something. Shoved him in the bin for no reason. I wanted to see how the hiding thing worked. <laughs> Here, kid, let's play a game of hide and seek. You hide and I won't bother seeking you. It'll be way easier to survive if I don't have to take care of you at the same time. What did I make that plank for? Oh, yeah, the... <laughs> Ah, brain. Uh, upgrade this. Operate! Upgrade! Handling. Teach Cody how to upgrade. Cody, help! Oh, okay, so when I'm doing stuff, I can actually have him helping in the process, too. That's good. Uh, so there's the garden shovel we needed. That takes metal plates, too. That's crazy. Fishing rod. Spike boards. Pierce enemies' feet and slow down their pace. Oh. It's okay to catch rabbits if it's a zombie. What? Catching zombie rabbits? We can make lockpicks in here? Alright. That's right. Poor Cody has me as a mom. That's Yeah, it's horrible. I feel bad for the kid, honestly. It's not the way anyone should have to go. I wish I would just pick the save slot I'm already using. Uh, broken med bench. This needs regular wood to upgrade or to fix it. I probably should do that sooner rather than later, so I can actually make meds, so I don't die from from dying. 
We don't want to die from death. We need to we need to be able to fix myself. No, Fox is yeah, Fox is sick. My uh my throat's a hot mess today. I'm gonna be eating a lot of these holes. <laughs> it's gonna be a long 12 hour day. But it's in support of a good cause. And actually, I see there were other donations made. Let me just uh, spot check that. Sorry. Uh, back to the login page. <clears throat> Excuse me. Donaciones. We got uh, Andrew made a donation. Zachary with a donation. Thank you both very much for those who greatly appreciate it. Can't remember if I called it Vivian or if that was from last night. Steven, Luke. Rebecca, and some of those are from last night. Very hard to track these. It even says all of them are from December 16th, even though today's the 17th. <laughs> I think we got a couple things I need to fix on their new website. If I had to guess. Anyway, sorry. Apologize if the game goes silent when I click off. It doesn't have a music when not in focus. Oh, symptoms! Duration of symptoms will not deplete during sleep and travel. Certain meds can clear symptoms. Um, cold aversion. Oh, so she's developing zombie symptoms as we go along. Minus well, 35 hit points every time Endling rushes to save Cody. That seems like a bad option. Additional effect, plus 18% to Endling's attack power. Dyskinesia weapons. Endling cannot use firearms and one-handed weapons. Oh, that would be so bad. Endling's HP slowly reduces in the rain. Additionally, Endling receives minus 9% damage every time she takes damage when in stealth mode. Man, the symptoms are the things that are really going to kick my butt. Duration of symptoms will not deplete during sleep and travel. Certain men's clear symptoms. Cold aversion, 48 hours. Total rates so far is in the top left. We're at $2,150 raised so far. Hey, Gene. Confirm. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't have a choice. Those other ones are awful. Cold aversion is active. Forbearance is active. Okay. Man, those uh, negative effects are going to just kill me. In a very literal sense. Oh, I need more charcoal to fix the sink. Okay, let's uh let's unload some equipment here. I need to I need to put some stuff away. I gotta get more water. To make some more food too. I really want to fix that repair bench. Claw strip can be used as a bandage or to fix things. We don't need no stinking bandages. We don't take any damage. We're super people. All right, let's try more cooking. Come here, kid. Add. Add. Why is that only forty percent of a one basic meal? In that? Or what? Is that forty percent success, uh, success chance? I don't get what the percentages do in the game yet. 80%. 20% of two meals? I, the percentages are kind of blowing my mind a bit. I don't know. Let's try to make three meals. Cody hasn't learned how to do it yet. Good job, Cody. This is a recipe for metal sheets and the upgraded workbench. Oh, is there? I should go check that. I used up my wood now, though. <laughs> so I gotta get more wood. Alright. Handling use. Code to use. We'll put the other one in the fridge to store it. So we've got two meals in there now, at least. We gotta get more water. Uh, we'll check the bench for that sheet metal. Yeah, there is. You're right. Oh, it takes charcoal to make it. That sucks. Alright. Take that, Endling. 
I need that sheet metal. I also need planks, but I used up all my wood, I think. I did. It's nice that I don't have to have the stuff on my person to craft with it, but we gotta get more wood. I just used it all up. First things first, we gotta get the, uh... Gotta get a water refill. Come on, kid, hurry up. Oops. Here, kid, now you do it. I think the percentage is what's left over. It could be. I don't, I don't, if it is, though, that's a problem, because if I had 80% of something left over, then that's, that's really bad. Need five wood for the med bench, too. I do, yeah. I just need wood in general right now. Come on, kid. We're gonna go into town. We're supposed to explore the subway, but I'm worried about going in the subway before I get better at the combat. I didn't end up crafting a new bat, either. So she's still got to use that crowbar, which sucks, because I need that. Come here, kid. At least hold my hand or something. Okay. You stay here and support. Heavy hits are good, because they, uh... Take less hits to kill the enemy, and I'm hoping it means that I'm using my... Less durability on my weapon. Come on, kid. Oh. So I wasted materials making that other middle plate. I just found another one. But he still can't get the gasoline. He's a slow learner, that kid. Alright, kid, we got gas. I want the kid to. Here, kid, stay here and assist. Get wrecked. Get the hang of the combat a little bit now, at least. Where can we find wood, I wonder? Damn, it's locked. I'm sure, we can find something useful inside. Well, we have lockpicks. I could get it if I had a lockpick. I have a lockpick. Here, kid, this is how you break and enter. Scavenger will broken down car. Hold to dismantle. This is how you rip apart someone else's car, kid. Pick that up, Cody. Infinite source of metal? What the heck? Pick it all up, Cody. You're my gopher. Oh, I see. It's uh, it's got a progress bar at the top for how much you can get out of it. That's pretty sweet. When do you get a shotgun? I don't know. We we did find some shotgun shells, so there's there must be a shotgun in the game. We have handgun ammo too, which is cool. Okay, I really need to find wood. Metal's good and all, but I need wood. What the heck is this? What into some kind of apartment building? Voice cleared up. Well, it's still there. I can talk. 
It hasn't gone yet. My throat feels awful, but... I'm getting all metal now. Oh, I guess I can't hold his hand while I go downstairs. Mechanical kit! Get that, Cody. Need that. Page of a diary. There are rumors going around that something's going down. I should get my car fixed and get out of here. Car repair owner. Make Cody pick that up. Oh! Oh, kid! I kind of didn't check if it was a zombie. Oh, it is! Oh, he's chopping me! Can we get him off? Get off my kid! Oh my god, they bit Cody and my tools broke. Come on, kid, go! Go, go, go! <laughs> I broke my stupid crowbar on that thing. Okay, we gotta go, kid. I don't have any other weapons. Great voice for country songs now? Yeah. Shut up, kid. Let's go. Alright, I guess I better comfort him. It's okay. Mom was just chewed on by another person. <laughs> it's, it's nothing to worry about, kid. Don't worry. A little drink of water and Mom will be fine. Ignore my health total and the fact that I'm bleeding to death. I think I don't need a crowbar to take this apart. I mean, you can't right now, Mom. Don't give me that. What can you do? Check Cody. You're fine, kid. I'm the one who's bleeding to death. She doesn't appear to have a weight limit, which is good. I'm holding basically the, the parts of an entire car in my inventory now. <laughs> Good news with all the metal, you make more crowbars. I can, yeah, but I... The car has nothing to disassemble. Okay. Um, I can, but what I really needed was wood. Let's go home, kid. I get, Mom's got to figure out a way to make med kits. <laughs> Actually, I gotta find I gotta find wood. Oh, you know what? probably have to go to that park, but I don't have a weapon, so I pretty much have to go home. Crowbars are a must. I want to fix stuff, but I can't even, like, smash these crates or anything. Oh, what do we got here? <laughs> hey, look! I need a crowbar! Alright, we gotta go home, because I need, uh, need stuff. Maybe within the subway? I mean, we're supposed to go in the subway, that's my objective, but I'm trying to delay going in there too quickly. Um, we got a fair amount of scrap metal out of that, so that was, that was pretty good. I guess we'll make another crowbar. Cody, help. Help me crap, kid. Oh. It was too slow. Maybe I'll make two of these things, just for good measure. Cody, you do it this time. Oh, he needs to learn. Okay. Cody, help. There we go. I see! So not only does he have to watch, but he also has to do. Imagine that. Go make some water, too, while we're at it. Outside the gate they opened, there was a white box with horns on it, with a dot indicator for searching. I didn't check it, just didn't know why. Outside the gate they opened, there was a Oh, was there? I must have just missed it. 
All right, it's nighttime. What, are we, what time is it? It's after eight o'clock. Let's uh, send the family to bed. I need her to heal a little bit. She's kind of wounded. <laughs> And I don't have any med kits or first aid right now. I gotta make the medical bench. But night, those zombies. With heating on, we got better. Oh, good! More symptoms! Fresh symptoms will not deplete during sleep or travel. Certain meds can clear symptoms. So we've got a cough. I think we'll develop a cough periodically. The sound will attract nearby enemies. Myositis. Each occupied slot in the backpack changes angels like attack damage by minus 5%. That's bad. Minus 60% to attack damage. Oh boy. Let's go with the cough, I guess. And then restores 1% health per hour when her water value is greater than 90. Okay, so every negative has a positive in here, it seems. Okay, good. We got, uh, oh, moisturize. We're moisturizing. No more, that's right. That's right, honey, no more wood. I'm woodless. <laughs> uh. Let's go, Cody, we gotta drink from the fountain again. Or at least gather water. Mom's gotta stay hydrated so I can heal. <laughs> Make the kid do it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do my inventory before going. I'm just getting water. Storage. You can't just like. Oh, you can get. Well, control clicking seems to work. Yeah, control clicking works. The broken stuff in here, because I'm gonna wind up fixing those, I think. Hopefully. Uh. I'll put that there for now, though I should probably make bandages out of it. I still have one empty water <laughs> bottle. Can I make the shovel I need? Uh, I need more... Oh! Puro and Pavel are feeling well. I hope I can bring them back medicine. Uh, hi, person who's at my door? Hello? Who are you? What do you want? Evacuate! I want to come in and take a break. Who are you? I was a reporter. I hope I can uh, report the zombie mess to the rest of the world myself, alive. I can still communicate with the outside world? I used to be able to, but now all communication has been cut off, and I just hope I can get out of here alive so that my, all my settings make sense. Trade. Oh, she's got like a poncho. A cloak. It can keep out wind and rain. It can be made of the tool bench level 3. Wild greens, not edible, but could work when cooked with something. Edible mushrooms. Poisonous vine fibers. Tougher than it looks. No wonder those things are so hard to take down. Wait, what things are so hard to take down? Can be found outdoors where there's poisonous fog. Oh. <laughs> poisonous fog. Man, there's stuff in this game I didn't even know was here. Um... What does it cost to buy these things? I guess it's a trade mechanism. It's a barter. We have to, ex to exchange for these things. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to barter right now because I really have nothing. Hooray for poisonous fog, right? God dang. <coughs> Who knew there'd be po poisonous fog? I think the number one thing I'm missing right now is wood at the moment. It's all these things I could be crafting now that I don't have the wood for anymore. Uh, firm and ling. That's how we make water, Cody. The co yeah, the fountain is gonna run out of water. 
That's a limited amount. There is a rain catcher in the yard. I should see what it takes to fix that thing again. Now that I've gotten some more parts. So at least when it rains, we can get water out here. Wood and cloth. Okay. And then inside the house, we have taps so that I can get water in there while the water's still running. Loading screen too short. I want to read the tips, right? <laughs> I could probably use them. I need charcoal to fix this, and I've only found one piece of charcoal so far. <laughs> need charcoal. All right, come on, Kate. Let's go into go into town again. I'm assuming fast cab tra fast traveling will uh, fast traveling will reduce the time cost to like nothing, but. From 15 minutes. But 15 minutes really isn't all that long. When we get farther away from the house, that's when it'll be more useful, I guess. Let's, oh, oh, let's check that dumpster over here that I wanted to check that I didn't have the crowbar for. Alcohol! Sweet! That's for first aid, though. Not for drinking. I wonder if the zombies respawn. Oh, I didn't go in here yet, either. This is how we break and enter, kid. We're in. Whoa. Whoa. Mom, listen, can you hear that? It sounds like a cat. Hmm, I think you're right, but don't rush. We don't know if it's safe yet. Doesn't look like there are any bad guys here. Mom, please, it sounds hungry. Can we feed it? Okay, maybe we can find some food around here, but be careful. Why would we feed a cat instead of ourselves? Unless we're gonna <laughs> catch the cat and then eat the cat. Beer, wine, oh, <laughs> liquor bar. Ask for, try our house special V. Ask at the bar. Oh, we got a drink menu. Potatoes! We, we can't lose now, we got potatoes. Yeah! Ha! Ah! So that's how! I, why can't I attack? Oh god, I don't have it, I don't have any equipped. I'm like, I could try to hit it and I can't. Handling equip. Ah, oh, get off of me! Get off of me! <laughs> Dang it! Stupid zombies! Eating my face and chomping on me with a, like, munch munch. <laughs> Dang. Alright, she's really hurting. I'm gonna die. Hey, I found another baseball bat. Equip that sucker. <laughs> I gotta find meds. It's okay, kid. That strange man was just trying to eat your mom. <laughs> Tell that to me you say eat the cat. Well, I don't know. He's pretty chunky. He'd be good eats, I bet. Oh, I forgot to feed the kid before we left the house. I'm such a terrible mom. Gotta keep that hydration up so I get some health back. Dried meat, crackers, and a carton of milk. Feed. Here, kit. Uh, here, cat. Have some milk. It's bad to feed a cat milk, but we'll give it milk anyway. Oh, look how cute it is! That would look amazing on, like, a skewer over a fire. <laughs> look. Mom, look, it's a kitty. It's a kitty. Poor thing, surviving here all by yourself. It's so cute, Mom. Look, check its bell. It's got some writing. It says, "He hero." What must be its name, Cody. Look how hungry it is. It's shaking. Eat up, hero. Hopefully, there's enough food for you. Sorry, fatten that cat up so we can get something good out of it. Cat's like, "Look what I found for you. It's bigger than I am." <laughs> Mom, is it thanking us? I think so, Cody. Thank you, Hero. Mom, can we come visit Hero often? Uh, 
Without doubt, of course we can. No problem at all, Cody, of course. Uh, all right. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Bob. At least until the zombies eat the poor cute kitty. What do you give us? Chocolate? Oh my god, this cat's my new favorite friend. Now we can make chocolate milk. <coughs> what are we doing with chocolate in here? I think I was lootable in here. Someone's got a fire burning indoors, though. That's probably a bad idea. Rename it to Ration. <laughs> Much more useful to dice and stew it. You lose whatever fat it has roasting. Roasting in it. Oh, the yeah, you're right. The cat, you're right. <laughs> we should make a stew. Mm, kitty stew. I'm gonna die. Hold on a second. Can I make bandages out of these? No, I. Oh, I got bandages there. Uh, handling use. Alright, it's not much, but it's a little bit more health than I had. Oh my god, I can reloot these things? <coughs> it's like the loot respawns in here. Where's that thing with the horns you said that was outside the gate we opened? Oh, this you were talking about. Yeah, this isn't lootable, this is repairable. It's a speaker that can, like, draw in the zombies. <laughs> uh, you should probably wait here, kid. go stealth even though I'm coughing like crazy. <laughs> oh, I need to bring the kid to teach him how to scavenge. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, all right, kid, follow. I can't take the tank. <laughs> well, there's this whole thing of like having to fuel it and knowing how to operate a tank and various other things. All right, teach the kid how to forage now. Step number one, kid, is don't eat wild mushrooms. It's bad for you. <laughs> Hold the chop tree. Hold the break branch. I'll take branches, I guess, because I don't have an axe. Not a source of wood. Played best month ever? Uh, I can't say that I have, no. Doesn't ring any bells. Just keep picking stuff up, kid. We need a lot of this wood. Mom's gonna get our place all fixed up, spick and span. <laughs> it's another mother child game? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is the only one I've ever, uh, I've ever seen like this. It's pretty cool, though. Healing, at least. Not very quickly, but a little bit. <laughs> it's a cool game, it's just very dark in the context of it. Huh. Can't loot all the trees, though, that's interesting. Who's got a fire out here? Rabbits! I bet you this is where we can put traps down. It's a rabbit hole there. Oh boy. Zombie. Come here, kid. <coughs> Stay here and assist mom. Mom's gotta go to work. Oh, 
I killed a rabbit. Or Cody killed a rabbit or something. Cody, skin this sucker. Oh, no, he can't. Here, kid, this is how you rip apart a dead animal. <laughs> Cody, kill that rabbit too, dang it. I'm gonna have to put traps up. Oh, another dead rabbit. Maybe the zombies are killing the rabbits. Okay, we gotta get out of here, kid. Mom's gonna start to go all zombified. <coughs> I see, that's how you rip an animal's flesh off. <laughs> oh, they learn how to maim cute little critters. Good boy, Cody. Oh, I should check the fire for charcoal. I, it's, I don't want to run all the way back, though. We already we got all haul butt so she doesn't go all zombified <laughs> on me. <laughs> rabbit literally ran into your attack. Maybe if it did, that's awesome. I didn't realize I could just smack the rabbit, but that's not a euphemism, by the way. <laughs> Although it could be giggity. Uh. Okay. Stack all this stuff up as much as I can, I guess. It's weird that the stack sizes are like three for some of these things. Um, put this away. Alcohol, metal plates. All the food stuff should go in the fridge, I'm thinking. Hopefully if this stuff is in the fridge, I can just cook with it directly. Instead of having to like pull it out of the fridge and use it. Yeah, we have enough to fix the the med bench now, so that's good. Maybe we can do that here. Operate. Teach Cody how to fix this thing. Help me out, kid. <laughs> cough makes you coughed violently. <laughs> uh, alcohol materials can be used to make first aid. Cyprorate? Used to cure certain symptoms and remove its additional effects. But what certain symptoms? Ground herbs. We haven't got any herbs yet. No, oh, bandages require alcohol. That's interesting. I guess to sterilize. Um, let's select that. We'll make two of these. Teach Cody how to make bandages. That's good. We can finally get some healing stuff going on. Uh, let's save the game. <coughs> Mom's gonna have a little sleep, kid, and when I wake up, I'm gonna have more zombie symptoms. It'll be great. You know, when you're certain you have symptoms, yeah. <laughs> Mom's not gonna last mass much longer. Well, she is bit by a zombie. She is gonna die, but quiet night. No zombies in sight. Uh, we did heal a little bit, which is good because I was already hurting. Second, just gotta look up something for my wife. Sorry for the silence. Oh, wow. Sorry, I missed a few donations here, too. Uh, we're at 2,500 and change now, it looks like. All right, donations. Uh, I can't, the text is too small. I can't read the dang thing. <laughs> $2,550 we're at so far. There were a few more donations that were made since the last one. Oh, wow, a whole bunch of them, actually. Where are we here? Or not? I can't read the order of these things. They're in a different order. Here we are, 17th. Uh, Ricky with a... Holy cow, Ricky with a $400 donation. Thank you, Ricky. Uh, Cariel with a $100 donation. LP with 50 Thank you all very much for the generous donations. Sorry, I scrolled to the bottom and I was looking at... Because I thought they added to the bottom, but they don't. They're at the top. 
that makes sense. Small donation to start the day off. Hope you can get to your goals. So thank you for that, Al. And uh, Ricky with the further children donation. Thanks, Ricky. It's greatly appreciated. Sorry, I didn't see those right away. It's hardly hard to see that tiny little text up there. And I can't click off the game without it going silent. So keeping the donation page up. I need, but I, you know what I need? I'm going to have to buy another monitor. That's what it is. Sorry, honey. I got to spend more money. <laughs> got to buy a monitor. Your third one, so I can have enough windows open. All right, so I gotta pick another symptom. They only last for a certain amount of time, so it's interesting. Some of the symptoms we're gonna drop off, but we're gonna get different ones instead. Dyslexia. Handling can't read, but only for 36 hours. After that, she's fine. But I get two additional backpack slots. Deadly gambling. Randomly replace all Anling's current symptoms and reset their durations. Minus 35 hit points every time Anling rushes to save Cody. Any symptoms Anling currently has become mild for the rest of the duration. Let's go with that one. This one's crazy. It's probably going to kill me, but we'll give it a whirl. Second monitor for the YouTube. Yeah. I've got... Uh... Um, I've got two monitors now, but a third one, I'm starting to think I'm going to need it. I have trouble reading things. Kind of dyslexia. I, they're not really specific. It's really generic. The, I guess it's true that dyslexia applies to like an entire span of different uh, different uh, challenges with reading. It's not It's not just the specific one everybody thinks of all the time. Uh, Christopher with a donation as well now. Thanks, Christopher. Appreciate that. That gets us up to $2,600 so far raised in support of Covenant House Toronto. So thank you all very much. Shirley with the 11-month member message. Thank you for the charity stream, Cryptic Fox. Well, thank you for all the wonderful support. 11 months as a member and then for being here during the stream as well. Oh, kid needs food and water. Imagine that. All right, kid. Have a drink. Mom's gonna have a drink too. Uh, we got food in the fridge downstairs. We'll have to go chomp on that. Had to even it back out, yeah. <laughs> Get it back to that even number. Wood lacerations inactive. Cough is inactive. Cold aversion is inactive. But it's raining outside. That'll be interesting. Okay, so they're fed, fed and watered. If we go into town, so she's got problems with the whole moisture thing. She's like being moist. <laughs> moist. Oh, we can fix this bench. Oh, I gotta make. We gotta make the planks first. All right, this. Uh, select Cody. Still can't do that, huh? Can to help Cody? Did I not tell it to make two? Oh, I thought it did. Ah, oh, I used too much wood. Seriously? I thought I had all kinds of wood now. Nope. I blew it. Crap. <laughs> thought I was finally getting ahead here. Blanks for the memories. Yeah, I didn't have enough. Alright, we gotta go to the back to the world. Back into the city. Gotta go to work. Have a good night, or a good day, Ocarina. Oh good, it's not raining here. That's funny. Okay, we need to go back into the park. We can get more wood there. There should be charcoal in that campfire, I would think. Maybe Cody can slay some rabbits or something. We should probably should have made a rabbit trap. <laughs> I said my cough is inactive.
Huh. I've been teaching Cody this whole time, but he still can't break the branches. I don't understand there. Maybe because I was home. Yeah, that could be it. Maybe there's just no negative penalties when we're at home. I to let it pile up. It's way faster to pick it up. Operate the fire pit. Oh, you can like grill food. You don't. Really, it doesn't have really good food value, but it seems like we we can't get charcoal from here. It's just a f open fire that lets us cook. Oh, look at that! You can pour water on the hole and get rabbits out of the hole. Maybe that's interesting. Clever. Anyway, can I? Can I just chop the tree down? I need an axe. Okay, I thought so. Kill the wabbit! Kill the wabbit! We can take apart backyard porch railing for wood. Can I? I'll have to check that. In the backyard, there's the all the dots that are along there are related to the the planters that are in front of the back railing. So if it was the dots you were seeing, then uh, I don't think it's that, but could be. I guess we can check. <laughs> well, no harm in looking. You may be correct. I hate how the kid only helps me shoot inanimate objects. Like, shoot the zombies for crying out loud. That's when mom really needs you, Cody. That's when you're dropping the ball, kid. We got all the zombies dead here. We've looted this whole place now. We gotta go to the subway next. Alright, kid, we're going home. We need water, we gotta craft some stuff. And played this yourself, you're just kidding. Kissing. Well, check, but I think all the dots you were seeing were actually uh, the planters. Good job, Cody. We can finally fix this thing now. Cody in there helping. Okay, recycling bench. Now we can disassemble. Oh, his thing broke. Slingshot, it's broken. Disassemble. Fix, upgrade the bench to unlock repair function. So upgrade. We got one of two mechanical kits. We need more. So I still can't repair things. I can only scrap them. That's bad. That's muy bad. But this is broken and this is broken. Can I take those apart? Disassemble and ring. Things that respawn after some time? Probably they do, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised at any rate. Uh, select, disassemble, and ring. Teaching Cody all kinds of good stuff. Breaking and entering, how to destroy things, how to murder innocent creatures. How to steal from your neighbors. <laughs> you can track the materials that are needed for an item. Yeah, I can, but I'm just sort of looting everything I find anyway, so... I'm gonna keep the slingshot for now, we can try to repair that later. So, we can put all the wood away. I gotta figure out where I can make charcoal or get charcoal. Okay, add. 80% of a basic meal. So what if I add a cracker to it? Now I'm at 20% of a second meal. Add another meat. We got 100% of two basic meals. Nothing wasted. 
Confirm. Cody still doesn't know how to cook, even though I've taught him a few times. Including what to do when his mother eventually turns into a zombie. Yeah, that's just dead. He's gonna have to kill his poor mom. That's, uh... That's a little dark, huh? Let's check the yard, see what Ricky's at. So, I can't do anything with the fence here. I think that, again, I think the dots you were seeing were just the, uh... The, the gardening planter things. Good morning, is there a fire pit in your backyard? You can put charcoal in? Oh, zombie! Why is my yard so dangerous? This is ridiculous. There's a fence back here. Open. The door's probably blocked again. Jacob always left the place in a mess. I don't. I don't get why the zombies keep showing up in my yard. Yeah. So all along here, these are the the planters for gardening. There's no. Uh, can't disassemble the fence. I need two more cloth, and I can fix that water collector. Although it probably shouldn't be a priority given uh, I can fix the taps inside and get running water. I just still don't understand how a zombie's getting in here. What's the point of having a fence? Carl Clint's mom in Walking Dead, he turned out fine. <laughs> I don't. Fine? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Somewhat. Okay, let's go check the subway. Start seeing what the subway has to offer, because that's where we're supposed to go anyway. I'm guessing there's going to be lots of undead down here. Maybe I should kill it a little bit first. Alright, kid. Let's go in the dark underground. There can't possibly be anything wrong with being in the dark underground. <coughs> Trail entry number one. That was the hardest thing I've ever had to do, blankety blank. I'm sorry I had to leave you like that. I'm not sure what they want with me and why they need me to go, but I don't have a good feeling about it. I think my past is catching up with me. I don't know what to do. Oh, hey, buddy. Cat's here. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'll turn on the cat cam in a second here. I just gotta get the light going. Cat cam. Uh, There we go. There he is. Put that light on too, that might help. This is Timber! Man, it looks, the camera looks so much darker when I'm wearing a black shirt. I should wear color instead. Welcome to the cat cam. He's rubbing on my chin. <laughs> okay, don't take, that's my drink. That's not your drink. Keep your cat fur out of there. The homeless encampment in here. Annie, are you asleep? No, I'm awake. What's up? Annie, I'm sorry, but I have to go. What? Why? The military have asked for my help. There are just too many injured. They'll be picking me up in the morning. But you can't just leave us here. It's dangerous out there. What if something happens? Oh, come on, buddy. You can't rub on the microphone. You'll be safe. You have the best soldiers to protect you. Don't worry about me. I'm a doctor. I know the risks. I'll be fine. Oh, that explains why we had a medical bench in our house. But the evacuation is just a few days. Can't you just go with us? Any, everything's gonna be fine. Once I'm done, they'll send me straight to you. It'll be like we never were apart, all right? Like, stop worrying. It's not like it's a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Look, I need to leave early in the morning, so I'm gonna miss Cody. Can you explain to him where I'm going and tell him Daddy loves him? I'll let him know. It's getting late. Let's get some sleep. I love you. I love you too. They were living in tents at that point. I don't understand. Hot diggity cat, just for that, I'm subbing. <laughs> oh, hi, Jack. It's fine, Bob It's dark down here, so let's search carefully. <laughs> Mom's got a cough that'll draw on the zombies. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Hey, buddy? Hey? Look at that, you're on camera, you're famous. <laughs> you, like, lay down or something? You're, like, you're kind of needy right now. I'm getting cat here on my keyboard. I can't go through there. I guess we gotta go through here. Dude, you're too excited. Oh my god, you're getting wound up in my headphone cords. <laughs> hold on, hold on. There. That's better. Crazy cat. Arr.
Come on, kid, stay close. Alcohol? It's funny I can't just step down there. I think I ran into that the last time I played this. I couldn't step down on that ledge into the little subway track area. Alright, Cody. Stay here and assist even though your slingshot's broken. There's literally nothing you can do. And batter up! Mom's at the plate! Oh god, he's fast. It's not very good attack faster than me. List of evacuees, William Phillips, Sam Murray, Emma Davis, Jacob Moore, deployed to medic crew. That's our guy. Anling Chan Moore, Cody Moore, Rachel Sims, uh, Simonson, Christian Clare, Sean Rickson. Okay, so we were living in the subway, I guess, pending our evacuation, and that's when the husband took off. That's dark. Way to leave your kid. Just abandon him in a zombie apocalypse? Is there anything worse than that? <laughs> My kid. That's my arm, cat. You're looking at my arm. I've got to fix the ramp before I can go down there. That sucks. Um, break in here. More crackers and another shirt. We can fix that water barrel in the backyard now. Although, again, I don't know if it's worth it. It might be better just to fix the... Uh, Fix the pipes in the house while we still have running water. Is this near where you died last time? I think it is, actually. There's all these barrels in here they were probably using for fires, but I guess I can't try to get charcoal out of them. Dear Diary, we've been in the refugee camp for months, and tomorrow is the day we finally be evacuated out. Just my luck, it would be in the camp that would be extracted last. Oh well. Finding it hard to go to sleep, I'm just so excited about tomorrow. I can't wait to see my friends and family again. But it's gonna be weird not living here anymore, though. Been here my whole life. Hopefully they'll be able to come back one day. What, whole life in the subway, or just in the town area? Fast forward's not working on this live stream. I'm mad now. What are you trying to fast forward to? <laughs> like, what are you going to be mad about? It's a live stream. You literally can't go ahead of what I've already done. <laughs> because he was drafted, he was he probably was, yeah. Yeah. I think they had said something about, uh... In his, in his note or whatever, it was something about the military uh, making him go. Pick the pipe. Hold on. Metal pipe unlocked the guy. So... Sturdy old water pipe, good makeshift weapon, one-handed, can be made, blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's equip that on handling. She can use a pipe for now. Alright, kid, come back here. I need you to wait here, because this zombie's probably going to kill me. I can't... Oh, 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 God, get off me! How did I... How did you get me through the bars, you jerk? Just because I can hit you doesn't mean you can grab me. That's not how games are supposed to work. Alright, I got bandages at least, right? Yeah. Just trying to bring a laugh. <laughs> it's one of those new fancy streams where you can go into the future. I want to see what the ending happens, and then we'll go back to this part of the, in the stream. It'll be fine. Alright, kid. Come along. No, don't say this. Uh, oh, wait, he needs comforting again? Haven't you seen enough zombies to know what's going on yet, kid? Let's go. Yeah, see, he's fine. Come on, kid. Let open this. Tell you what, kid, you wait back here. Huh. I'm hearing a lot of, uh, a lot of zombies, but I don't see him. 
Emergency extraction plans. In the case of an evacuation has failed, an emergency extraction will be deployed. The emergency extraction will take place on blah 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 1992 at the Van Cage prison. So we gotta get to the prison. This is it. We found it. Yeah, so it'll be an emergency extraction taking place on X of X, which is uh, 54 days, and it looks like the extraction place will be the prison. Where's the prison? 54 days, oh my god. Yeah, cacam. Not sure, but I know it's not close by. We need a car. What about Dad's car? We can fix it. That's a great idea, Cody. Let's head back home and check the car and find out what we need to fix it. There's also a supermarket close by. Might be a good place to check the car for parts. Or for food. Okay. Okay. Okay, we gonna do that. Feel that, Cody? We're gonna get out of here. Something's not right. I don't feel very good. Oh, oh, oh God, it's late. I couldn't tell because it was dark. Picture of a, uh, picture of a whammon. Wow, she's beautiful. She looks so happy. I wonder if I'll ever return to that. Probably not. Come on, kid. We gotta go. I'm gonna, mom's, mom's zombifying. You're about to turn into, you're about to turn into lunch. Or midnight snack, I guess it is, because it's pretty much midnight. I think you might be screwed, kid. Oh no. <laughs> Things are looking bad for you, kid. Come on, Cody. Mom's feeling a little hungry. Uh, back home. I don't have any fuel on me, so I can't fast travel. Cops surely had a pistol on him. None of the cops who've killed so far have had a pistol. There's the car. Such as it is. Hmm? Huh? Let's take another look at you. Yep, just as I thought. This is gonna take a lot of work. Can we fix it? I think so. We're just gonna need quite a few resources. Okay. Ready to help Mama fix your Baba's car? Yes! Yes, ma'am! All right, we'll fix the car after I'm not gonna eat my son. <laughs> Come on, kid, we gotta sleep before mom turns into real bad. <laughs> you think I, I was bad in the morning before? You should see me now. Oh, man. Tombstone. After talking, immediately starts dying again. Yeah, <laughs> the, the cutscene didn't exactly have me in my natural state. Mama, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you when you needed me the most. But I don't know most of all people understand why I moved here. You're always so supportive. Baba, he blames me. He says I abandoned our family. Mom, what's wrong? Oh, nothing, Baobe. This is your grandmother. Never had the chance to meet her, but she loved you very, very much. She loved you so much, you never met her. <laughs> Is this my tombstone? Jacob Moore, 1954 to 1992. Jacob, I thought you were safe. No, this can't be. Mom, who's that? Uh, it's nobody. Don't read it. <laughs> Don't worry, it's no one. Let's move on. This is gonna be mine here. Either that or my son's. Yep, Cody Moore, 1984 to 1992, and he falls down and dies. Cody, no! You're right here with me. Cody? Cody! She's like, nightmares suck. Uh, it's quite night. No zombies inside. Blah, blah, blah. All right. More symptoms. Dementia. Hooray! Unable to use the, the tool repair and food bench. Oh my god. Like, some of these things are just crippling. Minus 60% attack damage. Inner heat. Endling's max water changes by minus 20 permanently every time her water reaches zero. Max water will not be less than 20. Adding 1%. Uh, Endling restores 1% health per hour when her food value is greater than 90 but I very rarely have my food value that high but of the three of these that's the only one that I might be able to cope with I'm assuming with the inner heat she's going to consume water faster too but 
Okay. That's a brutal symptom, that one. Come on, kid. Inner heat is active. Belly full is active. Oh, I didn't save. Alright, come on, kid. Mom's got a hungry hankering. Give mom an extra snack here. Maybe we should try to make something. Oh, we also need water. Uh... All right, everybody's thirst is quenched. Let's uh, let's do a little cooking in the kitchen. A little potato that's forty percent. A little mushroom that's sixty. A little bit of milk that got me over a hundred percent. More potato, more shrooms, more shrooms. Wait. Maybe one of those will add a, oh, I can't put a crack rating. I only have three different things. Hey, cat. I was trying to eat my couch. That was weird. <laughs> I've never seen her do that before. Cat's always licking you. Is he trying to eat you? Ah, uh, it's his way of saying he's nice. He, he likes me. Hey, now you're looking at me. You can hear me talking about you. Usually he, uh, he'll, he'll lick my arm for a bit and then bite me. Just, you know, just fun. Um... I overdid it with the mushrooms. What if I add more milk? Remove some mushrooms. There we go. Two basic meals. Just fixing the water catcher since you're not finding charcoal. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. My only concern is those sh the shirts seem to be useful for other things too. Um, I gotta put some supplies away. But let's go fix the water barrel. Assuming there's not a zombie in the yard, it'll eat me again. Yeah, we're good. Uh, hold the fix. Teach Cody how to fix the water barrel. There you go, kid. We got a source of water. Hold the fetch water. Like, Cody, look what I'm doing. So another question is, was that clean water or dirty water? It was dirty. Okay. Makes sense. What if you could put wood in the firing in the park for charcoal? I, I tried looking in there, but the only option it gave me was cooking food. So it doesn't seem like that's an option. Yeah, I can hold back the inner heat by staying hydrated, so that's that's a plus. Uh, leave a little bit of water here. The rest of the stuff we need to store. I should be using this trap, too. I, I guess if I set the trap down in front of me and let a zombie walk into it, then it would be easier to manage beating them up, but... Okay. I need another one of these things. Oh, I need to make uh, two of those planks so that we can fix the rampway and the subway. Cody still can't make them. He can, he can assist me, but he can't make them on his own yet. Is Kid wearing a zoodie? No, he's not wearing a hoodie. He's wearing the full body pajamas with the hood. <laughs> You can change their clothing up. I put a Santa hat on her and the little dinosaur outfit on him. Actually, I should dress her up as the teddy bear, or the panda bear. Hold on. In the costumes here, if you go into the suits, she can put on a panda suit. <laughs> so, she can be a panda and he can be a little dinosaur and they're gonna run, run around together in their costumes. It's dark and disturbing. 
This is a very dark game, but it's cool. I the uh, as a survival game, it's it's really different from a lot of other survival games where you're doing a lot of the same things all the time. And this one, you, you still have a lot of like the looting and the crafting and upgrading and all that stuff. But at the same time, you're trying to teach your kid and manage his survival. It's kind of a neat, sort of neat extra element to the game. Um, let me take some fuel and fast travel. It's like two because we can use one there and one back. Actually, no, I'm not going to bother. It only takes 15 minutes to this location. There's got to be locations that are farther away that will it'll make more sense to fast travel to, I would think. Uh, all right, to the world map. Oh, there's other things now. John's Farms. And the car needs to be upgraded to get there. National Park, Supermarket, RV Park. Okay, we're going to go to the city first because we want to get that subway stuff. That was a hoodie. We know how Fox kills off people in hoodies. Uh, this is true. <laughs> I do have a tendency to get people killed in hoodies. I, I don't know. What a sweet kitty. This is Timber. He is... I want to say probably... I don't know, seven years old now? Something like that? God, it's hard to believe he's been having that long. He's got to be around seven, I think. Maybe, Maybe not that old? I don't know. Time flies. We got him after we moved into this house. We've been here for like eight and a half years. So I think he's around seven. He's a little chonker. He spends most of his time just laying around, except when Maple manages to get him to play. Oops. Cody, help. Good job, kid. How much does Kitty weigh? Mine's huge. Uh, I don't know exactly how much he weighs. He's not like ginormous, but he's he's definitely overweight. It's been a while since we weighed him. The last time he was at the vet was when he was weighed, and I don't remember what the weight came in at. Well, I get to watch a live stream. I've watched your previous streams for years. Thank you for all the entertainment. Well, welcome, Lilith. Glad you were able to make it to a live stream. It's not very often I stream during the daytime, but this weekend we're streaming in support of Covenant House Toronto. And if you're not familiar with them, they're an organization that helps to support uh, and provide assistance to homeless, trafficked, and at-risk youth. Uh, giving them medical support, shelter, food, education, and skills and job training as well. So we're trying to raise some money to help support them. <coughs> Normally I can't stream during the day because, you know, family and all that, you know, work and what have you. I want to see if there's anything more on this. Let's oh, see, there is stuff down there on the subway track, but how do I reach that? Oh, there's a door there, too. I hear zombies, but I don't see any, and there doesn't seem to be another way to go. Is there another ramp to get down there I didn't see before? Come on, kid. Oh, maybe we walked into the. Yeah, okay, we can walk on the rubble. Blows the list for those who are on watch. Uh, don't forget your shifts. All, those, all them peoples. Come on, kid. Let's go get this. No, oh, what are you doing? Come on. Gotta grab the junk down here. Oh, it's a plank, too. Definitely want that. It takes five wood to make a plank. Nothing else in the subway, so I guess the, the next option is to move on to the supermarket. That's where we gotta go next. Otherwise, we've cleared out pretty much everything here. Unless there was something else in the park I didn't get, but I'm pretty sure I got all the trees that were there. I'll do a quick spot check. This is where I find out zombies respawn and I get eaten. Yeah, so they have trees here. Oh, you know what? I was gonna make that rabbit trap and I forgot. Can I, can I smoke? Can I smoke a bunny? <laughs> here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Ugh. <coughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> She's too slow. Oh, I got one. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor bunny.
need one unclean water. I thought I had unclean water. Oh, I, I made it all dirty. With unclean water, we can flush the rabbits out of their hole and smack them with a big stick. I think I just fornicated that bunny with an iron stick. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Oh. It's a fence or something there we can break. All right, Timber decided to move. Cat cam's going off. Can turn that off there. There we go. Probably make decent food with meat in the cooking pot. Yeah, I, I did make some uh, some food before. Oh wait, there must be a way to get to that other side. There's lootables over there. Maybe I can open that gate from in the park? If I smack through the fence, maybe? Yeah. Then maybe the gate will open after I do this. Nope. Weird. Huh. There's clearly a gate. How do I do that? I can't get past the barricade. Wait a minute, I remember now. I forgot I went into the garage over here and we, we I had to run away from the zombie because I didn't have any uh I didn't have any more weapons. There is still more to search here. Broke my weapon before. Where that zombie at? Try to get wrecked. You're okay, Cody. You're fine. Everything's good. Lock toolkit. Ah, oh, I don't have a lock pick on me. Oh, dang it. Probably some parts in here I could use for the auto repair. At least one would think there would be. It's an auto shop. I can't craft a, uh, a lockpick on the fly, so unless I find one, I'm gonna. Oh, oh it's nighttime again. Dang it. We gotta run back. Ah, okay, we gotta come back. There's probably not even that much to do left here, but I, I can bring a lockpick with me next time, too, I guess. So that's alright. If we leave her out too long, she's gonna start going all zombified again. Wasn't there a car in the entrance to this vandal? Uh, I did. Uh, this one right here, it's already ripped apart. You can see the, bar the status bar and it's all gone. Run, kid, run! Oh, we gotta go back and visit the cat, too. Uh, if I bring some more milk back... I don't think I used all the milk, but if I bring some more milk, then we might be able to get the cat to give us some other food types. There we go. How long before they go on zombie snacks with those hoodies? <laughs> I don't know. At least they'll die comfortable, you know? The full body pajamas? What's go wrong with those? Uh, okay, I need to build a lockpick. That's right here. Help me out, Cody. You bring the cat home if you get a pet carrier. <laughs> or can you? But if it keeps giving me food, then I might be willing to let it stay there. Just not saying, just saying. Okay, so we got the lockpick I needed. Um, she's okay for like food and everything. Let's just say, let's send them to bed. Try bringing your shed door in your backyard. Oh, I should try smacking the door. Yeah, it, it said we couldn't open it, but I was trying to just open the door. Maybe I can smack it. 
We'll try. We'll see what happens. It's raining again. A gout? Oh, good. It's hard to travel long distances. Anling and Cody now take two more hours to travel to a location. Except for traveling home. Dementia or wound laceration. We better go with wound laceration again. I haven't had to rush to save Cody. I don't even know what that looks like yet, but... She's gonna get hurt real bad if Cody gets grabbed. <laughs> She's gonna, like, doubled up on that thing. Actually, we check her status. Eight hours. I thought it said, like, thir like, 24 hours. I'm getting a new status, like, every day. Even though it says they last for, like, 48 hours. It's kind of weird. Never mind, I see the symptoms there. Uh, inner heat, and then... So I've got two wounds, so I'm gonna lose, like, 70 hit points every time Cody... Oh, wait, minus 15 on that one. Mild wound. Huh. Okay. And then additional effects. We get immune, impulsive, 10% to stealth, restores health. Oh, mild for other symptoms. So I'm getting mild... So with wound, I'm getting mild inner heat? No, it's just inner heat. I don't know. Weird. Anyway, she'll lose like uh, 50 hit points if Cody gets grabbed. <laughs> I gotta be, gotta be a little careful about not getting the kid in the way of trouble, I guess. Uh, ooh. Let's see about that rabbit trap. Operate. It's okay to catch rabbits if it's a zombie. Cloth strips, scraps, and wood. I've only got just enough wood to make it. Well, there's the axe. What do I need to upgrade this bench again? Four planks, metal plates, and five metal... Well, that takes a lot. I get an efficiency upgrade on it, too. Um, let's try this rabbit trap out. The source of food might be good. Job, kid. Then how do I use the trap? Okay, we just use it, I guess. We have some meals. Oh, I slept the the meat in my inventory. That was a bad idea. Nothing like some day old meat in your pocket when you go to sleep at night. <laughs> That might have been a mistake. All right, let's go, kid. Oh, I wonder if the if the rain replenishes that fountain outside. Oh, I got a lockpick on me. Yep. Oh, the zombies are back. Stay here, kid. I feel like that zombie was tougher. More shredded clothing can't be bad. That's a good reach with that pipe. Yeah, let's go, kid. <laughs> My weapon broke. I've got to get that repair bench up upgraded so I can actually fix these things. Kung Fu Panda, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, come on, kid. I thought I had empty bottles. Oh, I don't. Uh, Alright. I don't, I don't think the fountain is filling back up, even with the rain. Maybe there's a hatchet in your shed? Oh, I forgot to check the shed. Dang it. Come on, kid. I 
funny if there was, actually. Now that I've already chopped the trees down. Did fill up some? You think so? Maybe. I don't think it did, but... Okay, no, we, we can't do that. Can't get in the shed at all. Nope, can't smack your kid either, apparently. Literally unplayable, totally unreal. <laughs> can't smack your kid. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna bring the, um... Uh, we're gonna bring the dirty water with us. I want to try flushing the bunny out of the little dens there. Come on, kid. Let's go check out the park. Oh, crap. The zombies are back. That's no good. I mean, I guess killing the zombies drops things and I get combat skill out of it, but... Also, where's my weapons down, which I'm not really thrilled about. Okay, handling use. Alright, Cody, pour water in the hole. That should scare him out. I hope he'll run, hope he'll run straight into my trap, that'd be funny. Oh, that worked great. There's a bunny that was in there. Wasted water. Well, so much for that. Come on, kid. This was a waste of time. Let's go and check out the auto shop. Kid's definitely oh the neighbor's kid. Oh, I forgot about the neighbor's kid. Yeah, well. Maybe we should check on her and bring food. Although she did say she had lots of food, it was just water she didn't have. Whisper quiet. Shabby toolbox should be able to disassemble useful material or er, disassemble useful materials. Wait, what's the toolbox thing? Should be able to disassemble useful materials. So do I use that to disassemble things, or are they telling me I can disassemble the toolbox for tools? Is fountain in the park when you need water? Oh, I should check that too, yeah. Oh, there's a dead end in here. There's like nothing here, basically. There's a shortcut for whatever that does me. Crap. Literally wasted my time. Okay. Let's go, kid. Fifteen twenty-five. I'm not really gonna have time to search the supermarket today. Oh, let me. Uh... Oh, I forgot to bring milk for the cat. That's what I was gonna do. Dang it! Oh well. Pretty sure I don't have anything the cat will eat. So you can use Mega Horn and lead zombies to dead end. Oh, is that what the the toolbox is for? No, you can only disassemble certain things. So, like this car that was sitting here, I could take apart. The one that was in the garage, not so much. Oh, the roundabout there, yeah. Alright, let's get out of here.
Let's see what it actually takes to fix this car. Broken car. Fix. Actually, not that much. For car level one, anyway. One more metal plate, one more metal part. We got enough to fix the car. Better than I thought we would be. Uh, we can make the shovel now so we can plant tomatoes in the yard. Let's do that. Okay. Now we need the, the uh, tomato seeds out of here. Disassemble. Yeah, so that toolkit is not a disassemble option, so it seems like it must be something I have to use to take something apart. Huh. I don't hold on to that pipe in case I can fix it. I'll leave it here, though, because it's no good to be broken. The bat's almost toast now, too. <clears throat> Come on, kid. Let's go plant tomato seeds. We're only here for like thirty some odd days. Like I don't, I don't know why we'd bother planting seeds, but okay, plant tomato plus two. Oh, I can plant herbs here. Oh, no, I don't have the herb. I don't have the seeds for them, but Tomato plus two, rich in vitamins, makes you full of physical strength. Sure, just like that. This is how we plant stuff, kid. Oh, I gotta water it. Go to come check this out. Seeds. I'm pretty sure they used the dirty water to water. No, I didn't. They used fresh water. Seriously? How would I do that? It's just fresh or dirty water, so I'm gonna drink the fresh water, so I don't use that on the garden. Okay, and then from here, we'll refill the water. Make Cody do it, because I'm lazy. We had 23 people watching and only 10 likes. Uh, Fallen Archer, sometimes the likes don't update for you when you're watching a stream. We're actually at 139. But thanks to everyone who's liked the stream and to those who've been able to, able to make a donation in support of Covenant House Toronto this weekend. You're all fantastic people. Thank you all. Weird in my version it is. I, I feel like I'm not running on the current version of the game. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I thought it was it was supposed to be full version, but there's a few things in here that have already said that it's not available till the full version of the game. But there's nothing about it that said it was a demo, so I don't know what's going on. I, I actually, I reinstalled it to, just to play for the stream. Unless they didn't launch the full version of the game on uh, the Epic Game Store, because that's where I have the game, if they only launched it on Steam, which would be super weird. I don't know. You're noticing a lot of differences? That's not cool. Oh well. Like I said, I, like, maybe it's a, a scenario of like a different version on Steam and on the Epic Game Store, but that would be a very unusual way to handle things. Uh, this bat is almost toast. No, we got a crowbar I can use once I break it. Oh my god, I, just, I spent the whole day here already. All we did was plant stuff in the garden. Well, I guess we, we did go to town for a short little bit. And I guess that's true. Uh, let's leave this here. Let our people have a good rest. And then they'll go to the supermarket in the morning and see what happens. 
Curious to see how quickly the tomato plants grow, too. Uh, this one here. Sorry, by the time I find charcoal, there's not going to be any running water. <laughs> then, it won't, then it won't be any good to me. Digestive disorder. Eating rotten food and drinking dirty water will have a, plus 100% the negative effect on Anlang. Anlang's weak and carry less. Or Anlang can't unlock and collect. Man. Wow. I mean, I guess if you had that, but you had trained Cody to do a bunch of stuff, that might be manageable. But the way it is right now, I couldn't, I couldn't survive with that. I'm going to have to go with the digestive disorder. Uh, it shall slowly restore hit points at home. That's actually pretty good. I wonder how slowly. Yeah, I'm not eating rotten food right now anyway, so it's it's an easy one to manage. Okay, off to the supermarket. We haven't been here before. Great place to get supplies and resources. Uh, extremely dangerous. That's fun. <laughs> For a second I was like, oh my god, I left Cody! <laughs> and he's behind me. Okay, kid. I don't know what to expect here. That is a... What? That's a big zombie in a bear outfit. That is disturbing. Oh, come on, Cody. Uh, all right, you, you wait here. Mom's got to. Mom's got to take care of some business. <laughs> ah, I missed my swing. I take way too much damage in this game. I get hit crazy often. Come on, Cody, let's go. Hope you're such a little suck. Gotta tough it up, kid. Just because you look like a dinosaur doesn't mean you gotta go extinct. Eat, Cody. I'm sure she will at some point if she turns. <laughs> Poor kid doesn't know he's already almost doomed. Is there a map button? Oh, there is. So we've got a parking lot over here, we've got the supermarket, another parking lot there. Come on, kid. Can't get directly into the parking lot. Oh, boy. That bear outfit gives him a little bit of uh, protective armor. I forgot to make fresh water. That was probably a mistake on my part. I cannot get too close to that thing. Here goes our bat. That was a thing in this game. I can't collect that from here. You're okay, Cody. You're good. Everything's fine. Mama, Mama Bear's good. <laughs> Get back and wearing a panda suit. Well, yeah, I decided to put the panda suit on. You're okay, Cody. I'm in here. Mom's got work to do again. Go, kid. Broken down car. Hold the gasoline. At what point is Cody going to learn to get the gas on his own? Stay note, they tried to do things their own way. Attract their own zombie horde. They killed everyone, including themselves. Oh, great. 
might be one. I usually just avoid zombie bears because uh, it's a fight I know I'll lose. Well, I thought it through the fence though. I didn't. Uh, I didn't go to toe to toe with it, but. I wasn't expecting it to blow up on me. I think I, I, think I got more bandages. If Cody gets grabbed, I'm like insta dead. Because I'll have to defend him and then. Oops. Here, you wait here. Come on, kid. No, oh, no, you made a noise. Better go, kid. Uh oh. Okay, kid, you're. you're... Come here. Look, you wait here. There goes my, uh, another crowbar. I gotta get that upgrade done. Okay, this area is clear. You get that, Cody. I'll loot this. The crowbar is probably the best non-firearm weapon. It seems to work pretty good. It does a decent amount of damage. It's reasonably durable. The pipe works pretty good, too. Kid's hungry? Did I not feed him today? I might have forgot to. I have no food, meds, Cody's weapon at all. I know, Cody's weapon broke. I can't fix it yet. That's the supermarket there. How do I get in there? Come on, kid. Times at sixteen nineteen. Mom of the year for getting to feed the child, right? Man, with my mind. Shh. He's lucky I haven't forgotten him with the zombies, honestly. <clears throat> Stop raining. Alright, kids, stay here. I've got more work to do. That's a big one. Oh, he's a runner! Oh, no! Jeez! Oh, we dropped a medkit, thank goodness. Let me use that right away. I don't know why, but I didn't realize in this game there were different types of zombies. Okay, you stay here again. Let's see what mom's in trouble for now. Is that one had a shirt on? We should get grease your health. A total 100 hit points seems really low. It's a little bit more realistic than a lot of games, though. I'll give it that. It only gets so, uh, so tough, you know. Oh, jeez, they're fast. She's a slow, she's got a slow swing on her.
Hot dang. Come here, you. Oh, jeez, even when I hit them, they still get me. Yeah, those ones are tough. They're a lot more mean here than uh, the, the last place we were in. They weren't kidding when they said this place is more dangerous. Oh, there's a trap there. I gotta make use of those traps more. Help me. Oh, someone's in the car. What are they, in the trunk? Ah, oh, I missed! Oh, that was bad. Come on, kid. We gotta go. We gotta go, kid. We're out of here. See ya. I got no more weapons. Time to cheese it. Getting late anyway. We're not scared. We're just going home because it's getting late. That's what it is. Hopefully they'll let me get an escape here. Jeez! Okay, we need more weapons. I think you learned by now with your experience in Sod, too. Listen, different zombie games have different things going on. Alright, let's check the med bench here. What can I make? Um, I can make a few, a few of these bandages, actually. Great if a zombie could follow you home. That would be awful. <laughs> okay, that got me reasonably well healed. Uh, I didn't feed the kid yet, did I? Probably go to the kitchen and get the food and stuff sorted. We're gonna need water and stuff too. I've got some water in the fridge, but. Um... We don't even really have a lot of cooking ingredients, actually. Oh, I already used up the milk, too. Dang. Basic meal. We got lots of starch. We can throw a lot of starch at the problem. That's going to waste 20%. Might waste 40% if I go even higher. Oh, there we go. Five basic meals. Perfect. Come watch me cook this horrible meal of, of meat crackers and starch, kid. <laughs> if mom can eat it, you can eat it, kid. Okay, uh, let's make some clean water. Confirm. I think mushrooms are bad. You don't get a lot of nutritional value out of the mushrooms. A lot of food value or whatever, but they, they act as an ingredient in cooking, so that's alright. Uh, we, I should... Oh, wait. Before I go back there, because sometimes there's a zombie, I should probably make sure I have a weapon. I'm gonna disassemble the broken crowbars. Wait, they got rotten in the fridge? Did they? Hold on. It says cold and fresh. Rot oh, there are rotten mushrooms. Oh, no. Crap. I didn't use them quick enough. Okay, so I guess if I pick mushrooms, I gotta make sure I use them, like, right away. Probably be the same thing with the tomatoes and stuff, too, I would think. Um, let's break all these things down. Maybe use them to make medicine? I don't know. So is she just using motherly love to fight back the zombie infection? Uh, it basically, and lots and like resting and stuff at night. If you if you stay up too late at night, you get all start to go all zombified. So the idea is supposed to be like you're trying to resist as long as possible, knowing that you're definitely going to turn. 
and then teach your kid how to survive in the meantime. It's not gonna be 100% realistic, but yeah, no disassemble. <laughs> Uh, okay, so upgrading this bench again required... Oh, it's that mechanical kit I got. Gotta find another one of... I have one of them, but I haven't found a second one yet. I'm gonna take this trap with me. Oh, I have it. I'm gonna try to remember to use that trap, too. Um, let's craft uh, a couple more crowbars, maybe. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I can make charcoal in here! <laughs> Why do you make charcoal in a crafting bench? All right, whatever. I gotta get more wood so I can make charcoal. That's hilarious. Yeah, I am so smart. SMRT. All right, two crowbars. Uh, I'll equip at least one of them. I think I lost some. Water bottles. <laughs> what, an unrealistic zombie game? Growing tomatoes, that's good. Give me the water, kid. We're gonna make some fresh water. Oh, we're getting zombified here. The zombie symptoms are acting up. can't get into that shed, actually. When you go to the door, it says that there must be something blocking the door. I don't- I think this might actually not be the full version of the game. Uh, I had this on the Epic Game Store ages ago, but it was like the early access. And, uh, it doesn't seem like they've updated it to the full version of the game. Because, uh, there's still stuff in it that says that it's- it's not available yet, which is weird, because it is a full release. Uh... So I don't know if they did, like, a different version on Steam than what I have access to on the Epic Game Store, which, if they do, would be super lame. I tried breaking the door, but you can't. Tried hitting it, no option there. Can't open it. I sounded too drunk when I said two crowbars. <laughs> I got two crowbars. Hey, Bunny Gaming, how you doing? Alright, uh, can unlock or collect, wound laceration or drain. Max water will change by minus 20. Max water will not be less than 20. Oh wait, Anling's max water will change by minus 20, but it'll just be like statically minus 20? I'm gonna make everything else mild. That's different than the one I had before, but alright. We'll take it. Alright, so they've both been watered. We gotta go feed them now. I think I still had two meals in the fridge. Not three, actually. Almost no water, but it's raining, so... I feel like we should be alright. Okay, we gotta go back to that. We gotta go back to the supermarket, unfortunately. Let's see what we can find over there. One on the Epic site has a different release date than the one on Steam, does it? Hold on a second. Make sure that's paused. If so, that's really not cool. I just knew I already had it, so I was like, oh, I don't have to worry about buying it, because I've got the game already. Undying. Yeah, it still has the 2021 release on here. 
Oh, if they updated one and not the other, that's the lamest thing I've ever heard of. Huh. Well, that's super stupid. Normally I would point people to the, uh... Oh, hold on, I got, a, I got an email. Sorry, one sec, I'm, I'm trying to reply to people from uh, Covenant House. Sorry for the silence. Well, let me uh, put on a silly playlist here while I'm waiting. <laughs> you have to listen to me type for a moment. My bad, everybody. Okay, so uh, for the people who are trying to donate right now that are international and it's not letting you because of the only payment option on the site, are you getting any form of an error or is it that it's not allowing you to choose the country that your credit card is in or like, I'm trying to give them some more insight on what people are running into when they're trying to make a donation. Yeah, jamming on the keyboard hoping the words come out, exactly. <laughs> So I know that the lack of PayPal is an issue, so if you wanted to just use PayPal, it's not there anymore the way it was in prior streams. But I'm just curious if there's like a specific error people are running into when they try. Alright, sorry. <laughs> Weird little interlude, I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm trying to get this problem solved ideally today if possible, but I don't know. Yeah, it was telling me it wouldn't go through with no error code. Okay. Okay. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Must smack zombies. You know what the problem with the, the crowbar is? It only has 20 durability. The bat at least has 40. Crowbar does good damage, but the durability is not top-notch. I don't want to die here. Okay, we gotta get rid of the zombies before we can before we can deal with this. Uh, you wait here, kid. I'll try to let the person out of the trunk in a second. Oh, there's another one of those bears. Okay, the bear is. That's a bear up there. I could try to lure it into this trap. Here's what we'll do. We'll do, uh... Handling Muse. We'll put a trap here. I'm gonna try to lure the bear into multiple traps if I can. Oh my god. Get up. Get up. Hit the trap. Ah! Oh my god, that doesn't work! What is the trap for? <laughs> That's craziness! Do I have to, like, specifically set the trap or something? What's up with that? 
There must be animals we can trap somewhere. <laughs> I thought for sure I could use it on a zombie. There was one in the backyard that was caught in a trap. How did that not work? You're okay, Cody. <laughs> exactly, even if it's the shoddiest crowbar, you wouldn't lose it in a few hits. Yeah, it's a little weird. A little weird. Maybe because it's just... It's, it's got to be like a game balance kind of thing, where like if the crowbar is too tough, then uh, it just breaks things. You know, not literally, but like, like in a game sense. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna check your car for fuel before we let you out. You know, in case you're like mean or something. Oh, they weren't in the trunk, they were like under the car. Thank you for saving me. I thought I was a goner for sure. Just glad you're okay. Wait, I think it might be fate that we met. God's grand plan to bring us together. Uh what? It's just like Noah said, he's so smart and sexy. What was that? I didn't say anything. Well, I gotta go. Thanks again, Darl. Here, take this as a reminder of this destined day. Bye. That's not necessary, really. Oh, okay then. Bye. Don't say it's not necessary. Just take it. Ooh, five metal plates. That's a good reward. Oh, I have to break to get... Okay, I gotta break that to get in there. Page from going to raid the supermarket today. It could be filled with zombies, but we're running low on supplies. Gonna have to try our luck. I wonder if the problem was that that bear trap just doesn't work on the bear zombie. I have to try that on a different zombie just to see. Because if I can't use that to trap zombies, that's, that's way worse utility than I thought. Oh, yeah, here. Way back here, kid. Mama's gotta try something. Come on, friend. At least I can't get trapped in it myself. That's a plus. Okay, so it works on other zombies. Doesn't work on the bear zombie. Maybe the, the big padded suit is just too much or something. It's a little weird, but... Still has some utility, at least. If we're dealing with multiple zombies, that will help me, like, separate the group, so I'm not having to, like, fight all of them at once, maybe? Okay, buddy, you're sounding a little weird. What do you mean weird? I'm sick. I'm, I've also got a, I've got a, a um, throat lozenge in my mouth right now. <laughs> bear traps that don't work on bears. Yeah, super weird, right? Oh, a crowbar. Wait, is that different from my other? No, shoot. I was hoping it was like a more durable crowbar, <laughs> but it's the same old, same old crowbar. Come on, kid. All right, we gotta break our way into the supermarket now. You better wait here just in case stuff comes out. Go in there. <laughs> it's gonna be dangerous in there. Oh, that trap took a lot of damage. Oh, this must be the one I picked up that was already here. It says it can catch animals and zombies, but apparently not animal zombies. That's the catch. No bears. Only, only the non-bear type. Oh, received a donation. What do we got here? Sorry, I had to click off for a second. 
Now I gotta log back in again. <laughs> uh, I don't wanna have to keep logging into this thing. Donations. What do we got? For the 17th. Jason with a $77.35 donation. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Thank you for the odd number, too. Trigger some people with the, uh, the, the, the odd number set up. I like it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do was expand my backpack. Can't be upgraded when performing other actions. Oh, because I'm taking care of Cody. Completely forgot about the backpack expansion. I could have been carrying more stuff all this time. Not that I've relied, I haven't really completely filled up my inventory yet, but... I think the trap that wasn't placed down what you wasn't... Ar oh, maybe. That could be too. That could be too. I hadn't thought about that. Okay, we got... We got problems here, kid. How big is this place? Ah, mom's pro bar broke! Hold on, kid. I need to go, uh, uh... Oh, I'm gonna get eaten. Man, I got swiped. It wasn't too bad. A little, only a little bit of damage. Another note. Another 383 code. No, it's hard to find these long shifts can be code 383. So, the code always seems to be 383. That's interesting. Someone who really likes 383 as a number. Oh, Mama Fan Booze! Yes. There's supplies in here, but there's definitely zombies. Okay, this one's blocking the way, so I'm pretty sure I have to break that. Yep. Is that a prisoner? Oh, what happened there? Oh god, he ran at me! Uh, dang it. Back off, zombie! Oh, groin shot. That'll keep him down. Only it doesn't. Okay, I killed him, but he got a hold of me again. Okay, my inventory is almost full. That potato's rotten. Nothing we can do to save them. What a waste. Rotten food, vegetation. I wonder if I could plant it. Probably not, right? Probably can't plant rotten potatoes. Alright. We gotta get out of here, kid. My inventory's full. Let's go home. Mom's gotta do some backpack upgrading, too. Use the donation link, right? Uh, yes. You cannot donate using Super Chats, please. If you want to support the, the cause, it's fantastic. Just don't send it as a super chat because YouTube takes 30% off the top. Then there's like a month delay before the, the money gets passed through to me to really to, uh, to Covenant House. So use the link that's pinned at the top of the chat if you'd like to support. If you just recently popped into the stream, we're streaming this weekend in support of Covenant House Toronto. They're an organization that uh, supports homeless, trafficked, and at-risk youth. Providing them with uh, food and shelter, medical services, education, job and skills training. Everything they need to get back on their feet and live a better life. So, fantastic cause. Thanks to everyone who's made a donation so far today. It's greatly appreciated. We're uh, currently at $2,777 raised. So, thank you to everyone who's uh, who's been able to donate so far. It's all wonderful. Uh, I'm going to leave some of this stuff on. I, I, don't, I don't know if the rotten food is good for anything. This is probably... Ooh, homemade wine. <laughs> Keep that. Um... Uh, I'm really low on wood again. So wood is like a constant problem for me. I wonder if those trees respawn wood in the park. I didn't mean to chop the whole tree down by ripping off the branches, so probably not, but... Maybe use it as fertilizer? Yeah, I don't know if there's like a fertilizer option in the game, but if there is, it, it should work with them, I think. Homebrewed wine. Can be used to make med bench level 2 with these materials. Potato! <laughs> So it's used to make the med bench level two, huh? Homie, oh, the was that the lights flickering? 
Is that a sign the power is going out soon? We have a generator up back, but I'd rather not have to pump fuel into it. No. Nope. Oh, I could make it on medbench level two using potatoes. I got it. Potato wine? That's not wine. At that point, that's moonshine, baby. Or vodka, even. Yeah. <clears throat> Menoramine? Uh, can randomly cure a symptom, but remain its additional effect. Oh, that's cool. Used to prolong certain symptom and its additional effect. Used to cure a certain symptom and remove its additional effect. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense now that I actually have the symptoms and effects. Um, I still haven't found any of these herbs, so I don't know what the deal is with that. What time is it? 1946. We got time. to fill up on water. Come on, kid. No steal for the fountain. We should probably talk to the kid next door and see if she's been zombified, too, because I haven't been taking care of her. I'm not a very good neighbor. Like a bad neighbor, I simply don't care. Uh, there you go. Oh, there's a book floating there. What are the odds that book floats all the way around and I can pick it up? I kind of want to stand here and find out, but I'm all, oh, it does come all the way around. It doesn't look like I can interrupt. I can uh, interact with it though. No, oh, stay here, Cody. We got, we got problems. It's okay, kid. Everything's fine. Come on. Oh, she's still alive. <laughs> Who's there? It's me, Annie. I came to see how you are. Are your parents back yet? Not yet. I'm worried about them. Don't be afraid. They may be back any second now. It's not easy to find food. Trust me, we know. How's the water supply? Have you run out? It's running low. I don't know how much longer it will last. Okay, wait for you. I'll bring you some more. Okay, I guess we're gonna make water for this kid. Oh, she's still alive? I mean, it's, I don't know. Story. She's got, she's got plot armor. I shouldn't be using my weapons to fight stuff here, but... Let's go, kid! Probably get the book when the water's gone? Oh, maybe. I don't know. To be determined, I guess. Uh, let's whip up some water here. Jeez, I don't actually have all that much. <clears throat> Cactus of the kid world. <laughs> any water in my ring collector? Yeah, it seems to have some like every day in it. But I only have so many water bottles anyway. Bring the neighbor's kids some water. It's probably a bad move in a survival scenario to be giving away my water, but maybe there'll be some benefit to us by keeping her alive. Give water. I only gave her two. I think my parents will come back. I'm scared. Try not to think about it, Mary. They're probably dead and been eaten alive already. You just hang on and hold up for yourself. I'll look for them and we'll keep checking up on you, okay? Thank you, Annie. If you weren't here, I don't know what I would do. I'm sure you didn't die. You're welcome. Try and get some rest, okay? I'll also do my best not to cry. It's a waste of water. Darn right it is. Sorry, Mary. I have to go. I'll be back, okay? Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you. They're still useful. Two empty bottles. Oh, she gives me the seeds. Oh, she's totally worth giving water to. I forgot that's where we got the tomato seeds from. 
We can go plant some herbs. Get our smoke on. Yeah, Cody, fill up the bottles. We're, this fountain's just about toast. Okay, now it's just a decayed fountain. There's nothing there. So we've drained all the useful water out of it. And I'm turning zombie again. And I'm turning zombie. Yes, I'm turning zombie. Yes, I think so. All right, checking my email again. I'm trying to keep an eye on this stuff from Covenant House. <laughs> Sorry. I hate that the game goes silent when I click off of it. It's way better when I can do stuff in the background and people can't tell. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, good. No, nothing yet. Dang. Hopefully they won't take too long getting back to me. Corporate Patty's been watching you for years uh, since you played Don't Starve. She introduced me to your stream and you become a staple to our little family. Thank you for all you do. Well, thank you for enjoying the content. That's amazing. It's, a, it's remarkable to me that people want to watch and listen in the first place, but uh, the fact that people do enjoy it is uh, it's awesome. It's kind of a fun thing to do. <clears throat> we find the herbs in the National Park. Turns out I found the herbs of the next door neighbor. Kids, kids got the hookup, man. She's our dealer. Okay, we got gout again, which I don't like. Behavioral disorder for each symptom Anling has, she receives plus five percent for every time she takes damage. Or dyslexia, can't read. I mean, uh, I think we might go with the behavior disorder, even though it lasts for forty-eight hours. I kind of don't like that, but. Confirm. We need to get the the fancy upgraded. Uh, medical bench here. Because, like, some of those cures are... Well, I guess if I grow some herbs, the cures will be really helpful. I like the idea of, like... Oh, it's, it randomly cures a symptom, but it keeps the additional effect. I like the idea of, uh... Curing off the symptoms. What was the side effect of gout? Something about rotten food? Uh, I don't know. I, I wasn't paying entirely attention. I know. That, I thought the gout was related to like our movement speed or something. Maybe we were allowed to eat rotten food. Which might have been good with this. <laughs> Those wonderful mushrooms we got there. I'm actually out of food. That's a problem. Um. Okay. When you're out of food, feed yourself. That's how that. That's how it goes, right? First, you feed yourself. Then you worry about feeding your friend. Just like when you're on an airplane. Not right, kid. Uh, I can't upgrade the backpack. I, I need to do that, actually. I, I uh, was saying earlier I forgot to do it. Oh, I, forgot the, I don't have the shovel on me. Um, water? Okay, this water filled up pretty good. Got lots of dirty water available. I need to go back to the the town and check that um, rabbit trap we, we set up, because I need food. Now eat Cody. Ah, oh, we will at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> if we if we go all zombified anyway. Um, what was I gonna do? Come in here for a reason. Oh, the shovel. There we go. Leave these behind here too, I don't need that. What'd that say? It seems the voltage is what? Was the power off? Powering up. Oh, it's unstable. Huh. Well, I mean, I knew the power was going to go out at some point. That's why we have a generator, but... Um... Plant some herbs. Tomatoes are almost ready, so at least we'll have some food for tomorrow. For day, for day, today, Cody, you're gonna have to go without food. Sorry, buddy. I'll tell you to fill up on water, but we don't have a lot of water either, so you're just gonna have to suck it up a bit. 
Welcome to the welcome to the apocalypse, kid. <laughs> you get a hangover if you're a zombie. I'm guessing probably not. <clears throat> Wonder if there's a point we can't make stuff in the cooking thing if the power runs out. Okay, let's put the herbs away. We'll have to plant more of those once we uh, once we harvest. Um, so to upgrade my bag, I needed more wood. I, I don't have that available to me. I need a total of eight wood. That's a lot of wood to just to modify a backpack. Yeah, I'll probably have to start using the generator outside. I would think. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to go to the street. Dang it. Alright, come on, kid. We gotta go see if we can kill an animal to get you some food. I mean, actually, there's, there's gonna be food in the grocery store. Let's go, to the, let's go back to the supermarket. There'll be food in there. What about the chocolate? Give the kids some chocolate before he becomes zombie chow? Maybe. It's like chocolate for making chocolate milk, though, I think. I don't know if I can eat it directly. I can't, I can't cook with it. It doesn't give me an option. Yeah. Well, my weapons are already weak. That's bad. Come on, kid. We gotta find something we can eat here. Oh, yeah. Jackpot. Ooh, more homemade wine, too. Mama's gonna have a good time tonight. No one's trying to get us now. Come on, kid. Okay, I need you to stay here, kid. Things are gonna get really messy in a second. I wish I'd brought that other trap with me now. I really don't want to deal with two of them at once. Push this this crowbar is about to break. Okay. Uh, equip. Ah, get off me! I don't know how long they'll stay stuck in that trap for. Okay, this, this crowbar's toast. Oh god, we're dead! Come on, Cody, we gotta go! We gotta go, we need weapons. Oh, come here, kid. God. Okay. That came ill prepared. Paid the price. At least we got some food. A little bit, anyway. And then the zombie bear respawns. Yeah, that's just what I need, right? World map. Let's go home. Go. That takes zero minutes. That's weird. Okay. Let's quick trip home. Fox isn't prepared. It's no shock. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm always prepared. I can't even make a weapon. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, actually, after I break some stuff, I'll be able to. Come on, Cody, let me do a thing. Assemble! Break! Yeah! Okay, 
there we go. So I got some materials that'll let me to make, make one more crowbar, which is not really enough, all things considered, in the wine here. I'm gonna make a crowbar with mom, kid. Boy, oh boy. Supplies are tough in this game. I think it's the 60% towards the second meal. Could be a little bit of waste here. What do you need to recycle the up? I need a. Um, there's some mega like, machine part we need. Um, well, I gotta make the meal because I. I don't have an option right now. Feed the kid. Mom will have to go hungry, I guess. But first, we're gonna sleep on an empty stomach because that's how every survivor loves to do it. Want some? Want some bad mushrooms, kid? Here, I'll tell you what, you can munch on some crackers. There you go. You got a little bit, you got a few crackers, kid. You're lucky. Don't look a gift cracker in the mouth. Yeah, we might have to go check the rabbit trap. I think I made all the water into clean. Yeah, I can't even flush the rabbit out. Alright, sleep time. Feed the kid, mom can eat the kid later, yeah. <laughs> mom! <laughs> Arg. Mom, are you okay? You're scaring me. I found Baobe. I think I may have eaten something bad. Or something bad ate me. I just need some medicine. Mom? Baobe, mama just has an upset tummy and needs some medicine. I don't think it seems scary, but someone's on the way to take us somewhere safe. After that, this will all seem like a bad dream. Mama's fine. Really, you don't need to worry about me. Okay. You say so. Good, more symptoms. Deficiency. Less attack damage. That's not good, because I never get past anything. Uh, unable to use the tool. We gotta go with this one again. Receive 9% less damage whenever I take damage in stealth mode. Not that, that matters all that much. Alright, come on, kid. I've got 58 food left. I can feed the kid the kid for now. Oh, actually, those tomatoes in the backyard might be ready. Well, our luck was bound to run out sooner or later. Oh, the power went off. Did we just lose power? Looks like it. With no one around maintaining the power grid, it was going to happen. Because they've probably been growing on, uh, gnawing on power lines. Is there a generator in our backyard? Yeah, I hope the generator still works. Yeah, me too. Generator backyard's out of gas. We need to refuel it if we want power. Well, good thing we have fuel. I don't know how long... Oh, i got some on me already. I don't know how long it lasts when we have it running. She got a weapon, yep. Cody, the other white meat. <laughs> He's like the other other red meat. Oh mo oh man, come on! Oh that's brutal! At least I can hit two of them at once. I don't understand why there's always zombies in my yard. I've got a whole freaking fence back here. Heater helps recover sickness, fridge slows down food decay, and the workbench, uh, no need for charcoal when cooking and, and in increases the efficiency for both cook crafting and cooking. I have fuel to the generator to use the above appliances, so I can't use the workbench with if I don't have fuel in here. Oh, it takes a lot of fuel, too. That just figures, doesn't it? I'm gonna assume it just runs automatically when it's got fuel in it, hopefully. This is how we harvest, kid. We just rip stuff up willy nilly. Tomato one locked in the item guide. Why 
I wearing a costume? Because I could. <laughs> it was an option, so I put it on. Okay, I'm going to plant... Uh... Oh, i got to have the actual seeds on me. That's weird. I got four more tomato seeds back when I harvested the plants. That's cool. Why the, why's the power still off? How do I start the generator? I put fuel in it. I wonder if I have to fuel it up to full before it decides that it's going to go. Literally, there's no option to turn it on. Do I have to completely fuel it to run it? I can take fuel out of it and put it in, but I can't run it. What the heck, man? You have to use the breaker in the house? Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah, that's, where's that, up front, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so I can turn it on and off according to what I need. Uh, oh, a lot of tomatoes. Fifty percent of a basic meal with one tomato. That's pretty good. I just don't want these to go bad on me. Secret zombie spawn hole in the backyard. It seems that way. It's freaking annoying though, because they're like right on top of you as soon as you get back there. Oh wait, I had food in here. All right. Uh, here, kid. You eat the, you eat the worst one. I'll eat the better one. There we go. Look at that. We're fed. Almost no water. We need more. Okay. Uh, my tool is not in the best shape, but I don't have an option that way. So let's gotta stay here. Or actually, this has to stay here and that too. Uh, one of the herbs. Oh, wait, I need the shovel still because I was still doing the backyard. I gotta get dirty water again. <laughs> Can we fill the water for the water bottles to drown? Rabbits? Yeah, I still need it for the garden here still too. It's raining, so we're getting a little bit of refill at least. Okay. Plant herbs. Oh, it's raining. I don't have to water it. Oh, that's great. Um, makes perfect sense. Cody, loosen up the soil. Plant the seed. We're going to put this in. Oh, I should have told him to do it. Cody, loosen the soil. Plant the seed. Cody needs to learn skill farming. All right, whatever. I've already been teaching him this. I don't get it. Yeah, more than one rain collector. Uh, I was able to rebuild the one that existed there, but it's not like I crafted it brand new. I should have kept an extra tomato seed on me. I could have uh, planted another tomato plant. Oh well. Okay, so we got some herbs growing. Uh, we can use those for medicine, which might help manage some of my illnesses a little bit, which would be good. Deal with some of those negative symptoms. I gotta go back to the mall. Or not the mall, though, the supermarket. No, first we should go check out... Um, Check the park and see if uh, if there's any rabbits in that trap. I don't know if it's the kind of thing where you just like leave it for a while and the rabbits will get caught, or if you actually have to like chase them into the trap somehow, which would be kind of weird. But hashtag games, you never know. The zombies here again. I'm gonna wind up breaking my crowbar on these zombies, and then I won't have it to use at the supermarket.
Save you, kid. You better appreciate that. The cost, mom. Oh, there is a rabbit in there. I sure I'm skinning it with when I don't have a knife, but alright. Come on, Cody, pour some water in there. <laughs> got him! Hey, we got meat. Meat's back on the menu, kid. Come on, we gotta get out of here. So much my crowbar, it's already at 8 of 20 durability. No knife, just use your teeth. They've got that one of those fancy zipper seals on them. The skin just comes right off. Turn the power off when you leave the house and not waste food. To not waste food. I mean, assume, assume you mean to not waste fuel, but I, I, I don't know if the food will spoil in the fridge when I'm out of the house if the power's not on. I really have no idea how that works. I mean, I would think that it should go bad, but it looks like it's got a pretty long durability on it, but... Oh no, we're out of meds. Oh no. Uh... Okay, let's go, kid. We gotta go to the supermarket. Still hunting for food. Yeah, I figured he meant fuel. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it might be theoretically wasting fuel, but it's also keeping my food from spoiling. So, I, I don't know. Like, game mechanics being what they are, it's possible the food doesn't spoil when you're not around. But it might also be spoiling. In which case, uh, having it run is maybe better to not use lose the food. How long does mother life last since she's infected? I'm not sure. So we have something like something like 35 days or something. I think it said until. Oh shoot. Uh... Oh, the trap is still here. Oh, the zombie died in the trap. That's fun. Uh, we have something like 35 days until... Um, until the, the emergency rescue comes. So I'm assuming we have to last that long, but I, I don't know. That guy's a little tougher. It's like, I can't sneak yet. I don't know how. What are we here? More homemade wine, baby! Uh, Holy Light in the Darkness Prologue. Cody Pick. There you go, kid. You got a book or a comic book or whatever that was. Assuming it's a book. Food and bandages, nice. I've only got one hit left with this crowbar, so I can't even break into the other area. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for materials. I'm out of metal and stuff. I'm out of metal, I'm out of wood. I don't see a good place to get any of those things. You still we got a problem. And it's nighttime too. We gotta get out of here, kid. Come on. This is the zombies form a queue in the checkout line. <laughs> yeah. Resources are a challenge, man. I need to find another car I can rip apart or something. 
They're bandits are all are just pure zombies. So, so far, just pure zombies, but uh, we're pretty early into the game. They're, like, we've only found a couple of locations, so... <clears throat> Hard to say. Okay. So, what am I going to do for materials? Oh, we got... I did get more scrap. It's not enough to make a crowbar, though, I don't think. I might have to... I might have to break this down to make a crowbar. Holy Light in the Darkness Prologue. Book of Scriptures. Uh oh My internet just took a poop. That's not good. It's not awful, but it's not fantastic either. Oh, come on. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to deal with an email from uh, Covenant House. Um, what do we do with this book? I got a holy book of scriptures, but what's that do for me? Nothing. Two little starters, but it came back for you anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, let's put the food in there, I guess, for now. I need to deposit in here. So, they're asking for information about people that were trying to make a donation in terms of like the name, the amount, and the error code that showed online. So, if if anybody made <laughs> if somebody tr anybody tried to make a donation on Covenant House and it got an error and it wouldn't work for you. If you could send me a quick email at crypticfox at outlook.com that just has your, your name, the donation amount, and any error that you saw, uh, that'd be really helpful. So I can relay that on to the tech people at Covenant House and they can hopefully try and resolve the problem. Um, but when I, I gave them general information about what people were experiencing, they came back and asked for more details. So um, I think I'm going to need that, unfortunately. What a hassle. Uh, we are just a few minutes from 2 o'clock. We're going to be switching up games at 2 o'clock, so I think I'm going to wrap up here. Uh, we'll move on to a different game. Screenshot of the error is always appreciated, speaking as an IT guy. Yeah, it's it's hard when people are trying to describe a problem and you can't see specifically what people are bumping into. But um, We're going to be switching games up at 2 o'clock, so I'm just going to I'm gonna call a wrap here so I can take a quick break, uh, use the bathroom and stuff, and get ready for the, the 2 o'clock stream, which will be Mind Over Magic. Uh, that's a new game that's been published by uh, by Clay, makers of uh, Don't Starve and uh, Oxygen Unincluded. I don't think they actually made the game, they're just publishing it this time. We did play it the one time, it was pretty cool. Uh, thanks everyone for coming and hanging out for the first stream today. Again, we'll be live right through 10 p.m. Eastern Time, playing uh, two more games. Thank you to everyone who's made a donation to Covenant House so far, really, really appreciate it. Uh, I know there's been some challenges making some of those donations, but uh, every little bit helps, so thank you all very much for that. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you in just a few minutes.